Hello everybody, welcome back for another x 11 live stream. I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you very much for taking some time out of your busy schedules to come and hang out with me on this very special day for all of my American friends. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I hope everybody's doing well and I guess to everybody else. Uh, you may not be American, but you may be also celebrating Thanksgiving throughout this beautiful world. So welcome. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends and those uh, who celebrate it abroad. Uh, thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday. A great Thursday if you're not having a holiday. We're almost to the weekend, so we got got looking forward to that. The Stone, what's up, man? Melu, how are you? Marto, what's going on? Mr. Anthony Baldo, good to see you, sir. Sammy's, welcome. Baypap, welcome aboard. Hope you're doing well. Xander, good to see you, man. Kevin Thomas, good to see you, dude. Welcome. One, two, three, Slim, how are you? John Franco, good to see you, my friend. Sleepless51, how are you? Brady Sears, good to see you. Mr. Tree Man, welcome. Pol Poltergeist, welcome aboard. Hope all is well. Uh, Zach Yak, welcome aboard. Mr. Midnight Maverick, good to see you, sir. Ben A., what is going on, my friend? Video Games Maniac, welcome aboard. Hope all is well. Uh, Gamernetic, welcome. Digital Merc, welcome aboard. Hope all is well. Leonard Grant, how are you, sir? Good to see you, my friend. Aviation Forever, how are you? RTR Fan 739, what is up, my friend? Semper Buffo, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Mav dropping the five bomb. Thank you so much, Mav. I appreciate you, dude. We'll add another $5 onto your total here. Thank you so, so much, man. Leading the way for the month at 170 smackaroons happy thanksgiving happy turkey day thanks so much for support man i appreciate you mav as always thank you thank you thank you steph grunwald how are you my friend good to see you brendan collins welcome mickey how are you sir aviation aviator jt how are you man good to see you uh meath davda how are you my friend good to see you kev what's going on dude hello from uh winnipeg freezing rain we're supposed to get freezing rain here today too it's one degree and cloudy right now look down here one degree and cloudy not looking good uh we have a a a uh, snow slash freezing rain warning in effect <sighs> gotta love gotta love those lake effects uh living in uh well i guess northern you're a little you're a lot more northern than me up in winnipeg but um, are you flying to PDX? We are flying to PDX today, yes. Brady, thanks for your subscription, man. I appreciate you. Welcome to the crew, man. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Uh, JBL, welcome. Hope all is well. Midwest Aviator, how are you, sir? Good to see you back. Hope all is well. Uh, Thato, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Just Verge, welcome. Hope all is well. Uh, welcome, everybody. If I missed your name, bear with me. I'm sure I will get to it in chat. Uh, welcome to the stream. We are sitting on the ground here in Salt Lake City. Very unfortunate that this isn't the updated version. I would really love to see um, uh, short final design, which I'm sure he will in due time, come back and make a, a, a updated version of this airport. The the Salt Lake City Airport has changed drastically um, from how we are viewing it right now. And if we actually open up our charts, um, I can kind of just show you exactly how much it's changed. So right now we're sitting at a terminal. There's basically another terminal that extends out of this satellite. They've completely rebuilt this whole concourse A and concourse B. So technically we should be like over here. Uh, this is where this flight uh, originated from, Bravo 9, which is right around here, the stand or the gate. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can actually get um, an updated version of this. That would be nice. I think everybody would uh, enjoy that. Um, anyways, we're going to work with what we got today here, friends. We are SkyWest 3550 service from Salt Lake City to the brand new, freshly released Vertical Sim Boise. Um, I was taking a quick look at the, I think this is, this might be uh, Vertical Sim, his Tampa Bay, in my opinion, is like top tier, top, top, top notch. Some of the best scenery you can probably get. Um, this one as well, in my opinion, his Boise, right up there with, 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 uh, with Tampa Bay, in my opinion, of course. Um, that's just how I feel. I think it looks absolutely great. Devin, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Thank you very much, sir, for the 20 months. Absolutely insane. Thank you so, so much, Devin. I appreciate you, man, for these last 20 months and before. Hopefully we can go for another 20 months, right, my friend? Thank you, dude. I appreciate you, man. And we got Xander coming in with the two euro. How are you, my friend? Thank you very much, Xander. I appreciate you. Um, I am doing well. How are you, man? I hope you're having a great Thursday. I hope you're having a great uh, Thanksgiving, U.S. Thanksgiving. Uh, if you guys didn't know, there's all kinds of sales right now on the org. Uh, you can go on explain.org or you can go to the sim market. There's all kinds of sales right now on, uh, on scenery, on aircraft, uh, all kinds of sales on right now. So, uh, yeah, take advantage of this. The American Thanksgiving is, uh, is, is quite a 
all of the stores essentially, well, the explain.org store is located in the US. So they do these big sales. So if you've been looking for some scenery, if you've been on the fence about an aircraft and you don't want to spend that much, you're looking for a sale, today would be the sale. And of course, tomorrow, I believe tomorrow's Black Friday as well. So, Different take yeah. on Thanksgiving this year. Marinated jerk Caribbean chicken and side Ooh. dishes. Ooh. Not feeling 100%. First time being alone. Uh, John, you're not alone. We're all here together, my friend. I don't know how many of us are in chat right now, but we're all here hanging out, man. Uh, so feel free, John, to just hang out with us all afternoon, man. Hopefully we can uh, make you feel like you're more back at home. Thanks for your support, John. I appreciate you with the five bomb. That sounds delicious. I, I, I don't know, I'm totally down for that. Uh, as much as I love turkey, um, I can only really do turkey like once a year. It, it, it's such like a, a whole fiasco. And then, of course, afterwards... The whole try not to sleep for the rest of the night because you've overindulged yourself. Um, thanks for support, John. I appreciate you. And we had uh, Mike Alpha X-Ray for seven months. So seven months already. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Same to you, Mike. Thank you for your support, dude. I appreciate you. Huge no floaties. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so friends, without further ado, let's get this aircraft programmed, ready to rock and roll. We're sitting cold and dark. We're going into Boise for our first flight today. Very much excited for this one. Uh, and then from Boise, we're going to go to Portland. Uh, shorter hops today, I guess. This flight here, I believe, is uh, scheduled for 54 minutes? 54 or 56. Give me a second. 54 minutes on the flight time today. And I believe the second flight, because of the headwind, is scheduled for just over an hour. About an hour and 15 minutes. So, um, about two hours of flying time today, about an hour and a bit on the ground and doing replays and all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's jump inside the aircraft. Let's get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll over to Boise. Let's do it, friends. Here we go inside the cockpit. First thing is first, I'm going to the overhead. I'm getting the uh, master battery switch. Actually, I guess I'm going to turn all the sounds up. Just want to make sure that we've got all of our sounds so we can showcase the beautiful F mod sounds that this aircraft comes with. Um, as Thanksgiving, as it is American Thanksgiving, we are giving away a copy of this airplane today. For those of you who are interested, this airplane just released. It is uh, for sale and available on the xplane.org. Um, yeah, it's available. It's, it's, it's ready to go. So we're giving away a copy of this beautiful aircraft today. So if one lucky person is going to uh, be able to hopefully learn how to fly a CRJ, or maybe you're a veteran. Maybe you already have the Aerosoft CRJ and you haven't been wanting to purchase this aircraft because you already have one. Or uh, you already have one. Let's say you've got the CRJ 200 for J from J Roll on. You've had it for years and years and you just want to do it. Or you've been watching the streams and you're interested in learning the CRJ. I always think, personally, I think it's, it's the more aircraft that you can learn, whether it be Embraer, whether it be the CRJs, whether it be Boeing, whether it be Airbus, the more that you can learn McDonnell Douglas, you can put that on there too, the MD-80, uh, the MD-11, the more airplanes you understand and truly like grasp, I feel like you'll start to pick up patterns. So for example, for me, I learned flying Airbus. I went from flying general aviation to jumping in an Airbus. That was like the first thing that I did. So when it came time to learn Boeing, I was it was super daunting. Super, super daunting. And and to be fair, I, I kind of really challenged myself. The first Boeing plane I ever flew and ever learned was the Flight Factor 757. That was before I started streaming. That was that was like the aircraft that I taught myself Boeing. And then from there, I went to the Zebo 73, the 76, and, and, and so on. So uh, that's kind of how I learned and, and how I did it. But um, learning the Boeing, having the Airbus knowledge, and then learning about Boeings and how those uh, work made the transition into flying like the Dash and flying the CRJ and flying those types of airplanes pretty, pretty, uh, pretty understandable at least. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind. It, it, I think it's good to learn every type of system that's out there if you can, obviously, right? Um, all right, master battery switch is coming on. Let's get the external power on. That's going to bring the aircraft to life. We'll hear some dings and some beeps and some yelling at us here for a minute um okay cool i think it's going to keep yelling till we do that yep there we go all right cool um so let's go to the overhead let's go ahead and start working on some things here um air conditioning can come off for now we don't have uh, the ep one so that's fine uh research fans can go on we'll get the air conditioning over to cond air yes windshield heat can go over to low we're going to get the no smoking on seatbelt sign on and we're going to arm our emergency lights. That's been fixed. That's fine. Um, cool. Everything looks good. Let's get our nav lights on. 
But let's get our logo lights on and hydraulics can all stay off for now. That's all fine and dandy. Cool, sweet. So let's come down here. Let's go ahead and populate this guy. And we'll start working on our electronic flight bag for the uh, doors. We'll open up the main door so we can let the passengers on board today. Four passengers. I'm just going to use the pop out here so we can actually type things in. Um, four passengers this afternoon. It is saying that we need um, 67. So I'm going to punch in 67 and I'm going to enter that. See the aircraft do a little bit of a dip there. Uh, on the fuel side of things, I'm going to switch this over to kilograms. On the fuel side of things, we need... Uh, what do we need here? We need 3538. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero this out. All right. And then I'm going to... I guess that really doesn't work. Uh, I, I had a grand idea, but it's, it's not going to work. 3538 is what we need. 3538. Okay. It didn't seem to like that because it can't do that. So uh, we'll have to do uh, some quick, some quick, simple math. We're going to, uh, let's just zero that out and I'll zero you out. Okay. You stop there. Good. Cool. And you can get zeroed out as well. Okay. So, um, we need 3538. So if we're going to divide that by two, we'll split that into into halves, if you will. So we're going to go 1750 on each tank. So we'll go 1750 and 1750, and we'll enter that, and we'll enter that. There we go. So now we've got 1750 in each tank. Uh, you can get zeroed out. Good, close enough to 1750 in each tank. But that's going to give us 35. Um, 3,500 kilos of fuel, which is plenty. Again, 54-minute flight. We're only going up to 28,000 feet, so perfectly fine with that. Cool. So that's all set. I'm happy with that. Um, let's go, and that's pretty much it. We're looking good. Um, from here, I can go see here, and I can see that our uh, tow weight is 28.2, and I'm just going to confirm what I'm supposed to be here. Um... I'm supposed to be 27.9, so it's so close. 300 kilos off, that's perfect. That's absolutely awesome, cool. Um, so, let's come down here, let's start programming the FMC. I'm gonna remove you, I'm gonna go to here, I'm gonna go to X camera, I'm just gonna disable that for now so I can move about a little bit uh, better. Okay, let's take a look at the FMC. First things first, we're gonna go to our flight plan and I'm just gonna use a company route. So we're sitting down here at SLC, KSLC, and we're going over to Boise, K-Boy, and we're gonna go 01. And we'll populate that. That's going to go ahead and uh, get that ready to rock. So we'll go ahead and execute that. Beautiful. Our flight number this afternoon was SkyWest, SKW. Uh, what was it? 3550, I think we were. Uh, so it's good to know your flight. Yeah, 3550. Okay. And we'll populate that. Cool. Let's go to our departure page. We are planning the... What are we planning here? The Seagull 1 departure out of 16 right. On the Seagull 1 with the... Uh, Tango Whiskey Foxtrot. And we'll go ahead and execute that. Cool. Let's go to our flight plans. We'll go to next page. Everything should be here from B Roth. All right. So let's take a look at Active Sky. And we're going to go over to Boise. K Boy. All right. From Boise, uh, the weather is 310 at 3 knots. So if we open up our charts. And we uh, come over here and we go to Boise and we open those guys up. Let's take a look at the airport. I'm pretty unfamiliar with the airport. We can kind of figure out exactly where we want to be landing. So terminals on this side, if I had to guess, they're probably departing out of the right side, arriving on the left side. So let's go 28 left for our arrival. Um, hope to vacate by Gulf and we can just go Gulf and then a right on Alpha and into the terminal. So that's what, that's what our plan is. So uh, we'll expect the... Um, See, they want us 10 right. I'm not quite sure why they would want that, but... Um, okay, cool. So that's all good. So we'll come over to our departure page. We'll go to Boise. Uh, we're going to go ILS 28... Uh, what did I say? Left, right? We wanted... We want the ILS 28 left. Um, okay, well, I guess we better... That's right, because it's the custom... Not custom, but uh, we want to be on the Spud 3 for 28 left uh, via b -Roth. And we're going to expect the... Do they not have... Is it only... I guess it's only our navs on the left side? That's kind of funky. Um, okay, so we're not going to do that then. We're going to take the... Um, the Spud 328 right. So we can at least pick up the ILS 2A right. So go B-Roth and we'll take the right side. So ILS 2A right from Toils. 
and we'll go ahead and execute that. Okay, let's go to our legs page. We'll scroll through here. Uh, I see Broth twice, so I'm going to get Orita, and we'll populate Orita into here, and we'll execute that. That should be good. Uh, should be seller, then toils, execute, and all of that looks good. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. It is an RNAV. Um, the star is an RNAV, so that makes sense how there's no vector at the end, and it just connects us in like that. Okay. Um, I'm happy with all of that. That is all good. Let's go to the... Um, I actually don't think we need to do anything else with that. I think we're pretty much good to go. We're ready to rock. Um, Anti-skid can get armed. Let's start programming the rest of this and getting this uh, aircraft on and available. So fuel pumps are coming on. Let's open up the EPU door. We'll come down here. We'll take a look, see at this. We'll wait for the EPU door message. There it is. Door open. And just to confirm that the door does open now. Remember, we were having a little bit of a bug. There's the APU door that does open. Cool. Um, we'll go ahead and spool the APU. And with that, we'll go hydraulics on, 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 on. There is scroll wheel support on all of these as well, which is a nice little feature I like to point out. I think all airplanes moving forward should offer some type of scroll wheel support for us. Um... Okay, we're looking good. Probes and window heat can go on after engines start and we're pushed back and ready to go. Everything's good here. We're good, we're good, we're good. Cool. Um, let's set some V speeds today. Let's go to load takeoff speeds. Good. I'm going to close the front door um, and we're going to disconnect the jetway. Sam, main window. Thank you. And you're going to get removed. Thank you. Uh, okay, beautiful. That's looking good. V speeds have been set, so we're at 122, 122, 133, and then clean by 180. That's what it is suggesting. Our nav source is set to FMS1. That's perfect. I'm going to bump you over to, sorry, you to there. That's good. And it's basically a straight out departure, 5,000 feet right turn to a heading of. Uh, I think it's 240 and then radar vectors direct. So that's what we'll plan. So we'll set the runway heading, which will be 160 or close enough to that. 165, we'll call it. Um, okay, so that's set. That's good. Uh, altitude, no ATC online. So we'll just set our cruise altitude, which is 28,000 feet. Again, not a, not a very long flight, the first one, but it should be an interesting one. No... Uh, no doubt. Uh, hey, Captain Chad, happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the U.S. Ralph, same to you, my friend. Thanks for being here. I appreciate that. Thanks, thanks, man. Um, okay, everything looks good with that. We need our altimeter. Altimeter was for Salt Lake City, KSLC. Um, altimeter's 3064. Holy macaroni. 3064. That is some high pressure. 3064 is set. 28,000 is set. V speeds are set. We're looking great here, friends. Cool. Let's go to the overhead. APU is on and available. We will go ahead and get our research fans on, or sorry, the packs on. We'll come down here. We will remove the external power. We go outside and take a look see. We're ready to go. Let's go to plugins. We'll go to better pushback. Start pushback. Route of cockpit. Please show me and where you want to go. And we're just going to go straight back. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Cool. That looks good. Let's go upstairs. Everything is set. We'll get our red beacon light on. We're about to start our engines and move back. We'll get our ignition set to continuous on. Cool. We're looking good, friends. We are looking good. Is it normal for mountains to not work in Ortho for XP in Iceland? Uh, like they're all doing it some some may end up not looking proper you know but it really depends really really depends okay all doors and hatches are closed ready to connect all right he's connecting we're looking good Jeff S., what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. 
How's my back? Much better, man. It was like up here. It was like my shoulder, my back shoulder. So it was really bad. Um, okay, we're good to go. Let's uh, turn this guy on. Make sure everything is set there, which it is good. And we'll release the park brake. And the toe should be connecting. Get some lights on in here for us. All right. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. All right, there we go, beautiful. So, if we go to the overhead, we've got our ignition system already on. So what we can do is we can fire up engine number two, and we'll come down here, we'll look for an N2 to rise. At about 12%, you can introduce the fuel. Um, this aircraft, it's not really like, um, it's not like a Boeing where you have to wait like, you know, to a crazy amount. You can introduce fuel at pretty low, pretty low rate. And the F-Mod sounds in this aircraft are absolutely awesome, in my opinion. Sitting in these chairs uh, for every other day, man, can do it. That, I gotta get some adjustments soon. Just gotta get a really good chair, Geo. Spend the money, man. I always tell people, like, if you're... If you've spent the money and you've got yourself, like, a badass computer system, you owe it to yourself to, to get yourself a chair, man. The next chair that I want to get is going to be like a Herman Miller or something like that. Like something that's like, you know, properly designed. I really like the Secret Labs chair that I have now. It's, it's absolutely comfortable, but I really start to notice like after, you know, six, seven, eight hours sitting in it. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm very often like, you know, switching the pitch or the height adjustment and moving it all about. But uh, yeah, man, got to get yourself a, a nice good chair, man. That's for sure. Absolutely. Okay, pushback should be done here momentarily. There it is. Set our park brake. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Is set, sir. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Thank you. Engine number one to start. You can see N2 percentage on the rise. Power set. How are you, my friend? Good to see you, dude. Bigger J. What's up, man? Good to see you. Chief Sim Pilot. How are you, man? Uh, Captain Osbird just came out. I'm seriously wondering if I should hold off buying this bird. What's the biggest pro and what's the biggest con with the CRJ? Uh, the biggest pro is we finally have a proper CRJ in X-Plane. Um, the, the con is probably the system depth. Um, just, you guys know I'm, I, 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 I kind of always speak truthfully to you, whether I'm working with a company or whether I'm not. Um, Really, to me, the thing that is saving this aircraft is the flight model. It feels really good and flying, and it's quite a lot of fun to fly. Um, it's odd, it's quirky, it's a CRJ, right? So it's gonna take some getting used to. You basically have to like fly it into the ground. Um, yeah, I mean, the biggest con I think right now is gonna be the system depth, the lack of a custom FMC, the lack of, uh, you know, there's a couple things. There's no top of descent indicator. Um, the, the, kind of the takeoff procedure isn't exactly how it is mimicked in in real life and um you know there's other things that i would that i would like to see but that being said it, it's it's a early project and i think it's i think it's in a state right now where we can um you know we can enjoy it and we can fly it but um yeah those are definitely things that i think need to be changed and we need to be addressed in future updates right so in due time um yeah. Oh, he's pushing back. All right, we're going flaps, eight degrees. Uh, has a ton of potential to be a great on. It definitely has a ton of potential. Yes, 100%. Um, it's just, you know, uh, I, I kind of have to side with the community, and I've seen a bunch of comments from people saying, like, you know what, man? I've been burned so many times in the past from trying to support developers and trying to support projects that I just can't do it anymore. And maybe if this airplane gets a custom FMC or whatever, I'll take a look at it and it'll get me interested. And like, trust me, man, I, 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 I completely understand that logic and I completely understand where everybody's coming from with that. Um, the first thing that I, that, that's kind of like the first thing that I, when I spoke with a developer, that's pretty much the first thing that I told him was that there's, you know, um, it's unfortunate that we live in a world where people find it extremely hard to kind of trust and put faith in developers nowadays because 
so many people have, have been burned. You know what I mean? There's been so many projects that have been announced that have, you know, people have, have put money into and, and it's just turned into absolute, pardon my French and language, horse shit. So, um, yeah, it, it, it sucks. It's, I, I get it, you know. Like I said, I, I want to support the developer and I want to do my best to try and uh, help them as much as I can. But I also have to do my diligence and do my duty as, as a community member and a community leader here in the flight sim to be like super realistic with you guys and, and give you the pros and give you the cons. So the pros, in my opinion, is the flight model. It feels absolutely fantastic. It's got some nice weight to it. It, it, it really does feel like you're flying a little jet. You know what I mean? It, it's fun to fly. Um, the cons, definitely the system depth. It, it needs to be addressed. It needs to be worked on. Um, you know, the texturing, the modeling. I think the texturing, the modeling is fine. I think the cockpit is a little bit too dark, for my opinion. I think uh, some of these, these shading... I'm also wearing sunglasses. And X-Plane is known to have weird-ass shading as well. So, um, But yeah, I just think, in my opinion, it's a little bit dark in here. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm going to follow this guy out. Um, I think there's a lot of a, a lot of pros, though, with the flight model and, and the systems that are there, you know, so. Guys, don't put exclamation point giveaway in chat. Don't be dickheads. Stop. When, when did you see anybody or hear anybody say that it was time for a giveaway? When? Please explain that to me. It's going to get to a point now where those of you that are doing that type of stuff, those of you that are putting exclamation point giveaway without anybody doing it, you're automatically going to be disqualified. I don't know why everybody started doing this all of a sudden and thinking that it, it, like I, I, I give you guys five ten minutes and I let you guys know every single time when we're doing a giveaway and how it's going to happen and what we're going to do at no point did anybody say it was time for a giveaway or do anything just come on guys use a little bit of common sense right a little bit of common sense we're all here doing flight sim I would think that out of anybody on the internet us flight simmers would have a little bit more common sense than some of the other communities and stuff out there so let's 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 do our best to use better judgment please and thank you I'm not asking a whole lot it's just it's been a hot minute since i've seen a crj uh since you've been on a crj i was just on one john that's what's really cool um i was just on a 900 i flew it twice on my way to uh on my way to uh, san diego out of ottawa and then back into ottawa about to fly it. Ecam IFG is here. If, if like I, what's up, man? Good to see you, sir. How are you? Hope all's well, man. Whenever I check the org store account, I just sigh at the Magnite purchase I made. Oh, of course, dude. There's there's tons, man. If I go and show you all the purchases that I've made as well, and how many products I'm not using currently in my sim, uh, it's pretty astronomical. Pretty astronomical, man. God, I love enhanced skyscapes, though, dude. Like, can we just, can we just take a look at, like, look at this scene right here out the window. And these RJs with these beautiful big windows. It's just fantastic. It looks so damn good. Nice, we got a Delta 319. Yeah, 319. Departing right in front of us. Hey, tell me that doesn't look damn cool. Hell yeah, man, that's awesome. Wait, Cap, there is such thing as common sense. I need to get some of that. Yes, we all do sometimes, trust me. Clifton, thanks so much for your $3 donation, my friend. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. The CRJ overhead bins laugh at boomers with overstuffed carry-on baggage. I mean, the entire CRJ just laughs at anybody that's over 150 pounds, let's be real. <laughs> the, the RJ is like, oh, man. I, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. I, I, albeit, I bet it's a real fun aircraft to fly. Being a passenger on the RJ is not the most fun experience. Unless... Maybe you get both seats, you get lucky, and you, you end up getting both seats. But if you're sitting beside someone, oh boy, good luck, man. Good luck. Those things are small. Like, oof. Especially for me, too, a big boy like me, having to sit my fat ass in one of those seats. Oh boy. Watch out, man. We download AAG uh, model matching for Microsoft Flight Simulator or stick with the one that you have. For now, I'll probably stick with the one that I have as I really don't have an issue with it, but I will investigate. I've heard a lot of people ask about that, Benny. I've heard, uh, I've, I've, I've read some articles, I believe, on that as well. So I will uh, oop, overturn there a little bit. I will uh, I will take a look at that. Fred, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How are you? Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. 
Um, 550, they just flew on three ERJ-170s. Uh, not terribly uh, fun. There you go, man. Uh, what, your 5.5s, five is that what you said, or 550? I had to sit near a big boy in a Q400. Imagine that. Oh, baby. Hey, Gap, I need a new chair. Do you have any recommendations? Um, depending on your size and depending how often you use the chair and how much you sit on it, I would 100% suggest Secret Labs. Uh, again, depending on your size, they have different models of chairs. But, um, yeah. I have the Secret Labs Titan. I think I've had it for two years now, two and a half years. And it uh, still feels like I, I, I bought it yesterday. So, 63550, who oh, use a big boy? Hell yeah, Sean. I'm, uh, I'm 6'2", like 255, 250 right now. I'm on a diet, though, so hopefully we're going to get her down to, like, for me, comfortably, I'm, like, a comfortable, like, 220, 225, somewhere like there, so, I sit in the chair for me, like, four to five hours a day, yeah, I would suggest something, you know, spend a little bit of money, don't go with your Amazon basic, if you're somebody that just spends, like, an hour or two a day sitting in, like, you know, whatever, I would say, like, an Amazon basic, like, you know, ergonomical chair is probably perfectly fine, but if you're, you know, you're spending four, four plus hours in a chair every day, I would say uh, get yourself something a little bit better. Daniel, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. There you go, Chief Sim. That's like the perfect weight right there, man. That's like ideal, ideal. Just boarding your WestJet flight to Canada. Talk later. Enjoy, Max. Chair hunting with Cap. Like I said, the next one for me is probably going to be... Maybe I can get a sponsorship. Because uh, those Herman Miller chairs are no joke, dude. They're like 1500 bucks, 1200 bucks. I don't think I'm going to shell that kind of money out for a chair. Maybe I will one day, but yeah. How's the new CRJ? It's good, man. It's good. Uh, we were just actually talking about pros and cons. So I think for me, the big pros of this aircraft is the flight model and just the way that it handles and flies. Um, it feels really good. It, it, it's a lot of fun to fly, especially if you understand RJs and you understand how the CRJ works. It's a lot of fun to fly. <coughs> the system depth and modeling and some, some of the stuff um, I truly think requires some work and, and, and hopefully it will get addressed. But uh, yeah, American 319, nice. If you want to talk weight reduction anytime, let me know. Keith, how are you, my friend? Good to see you, dude. Um, I was going to fly on Pilot Edge this afternoon, Keith, but um, there was multiple, 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 multiple requests because of U.S. Thanksgiving that I do these flights on VATSIM today um, so that everybody could join. So um, I think we're going to be back on the network this weekend. We had a nice little tour, uh, I think, a week or two ago. We're back on the network for a couple flights. We flew the Q400. Did we fly the Q400? I think we flew the Q400 as well a couple weeks ago. You only close two days per year? Yes, sir. What is it? It's Christmas Eve and... Christmas Eve. Oh, wait. This is one of them? Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. Cool. I know it was Christmas. Okay. Perfect. Good, Keith. Very good. I was sitting there highly debating it. I was like, well, I want to fly on Pilot Edge. And then multiple people said, hey, Cap, can you please do this on VATSIM so we can join? And, you know, I think it would be fun as Thanksgiving to be able to fly. And HD. Happy Thanksgiving. From the south of the border, Captain, and stay safe. We'll enjoy the stream in the background. Thanks so much, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, HD Sim. Glad you are enjoying the content. I hope you're having a great day, my friend. Lots of turkey, lots of ham. Tofurky, if that's your thing. I'm 6,1185 one, at 14 years old. There you go, man. Should I be scared? No. Hell no. That's awesome, dude. Huge show floaties to you. Thanks so much, Clifton. I appreciate you, man. And we got Kjax dropping the $2 donation as well. It says, hey, Cap, what's better, Microsoft Flight Simulator or x -Plane CRJ? I think it really depends what you're looking for, man. Um, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not going to bullshit, and I'm not going to lie, and I'm not going to say, like, I think bang for your buck you probably get a little bit more with the CRJ in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I think bang for your buck, you're getting everything better in Microsoft Flight Sim right now. 
Um, maybe not some of the add-on aircrafts, but there's not, um, as far as CRJs goes and stuff like that, I'm probably probably leaning towards the um, Microsoft Flight Simulator version. Now, um, is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. Maybe this aircraft will be able to get up to there that level someday, you never know. But uh, yeah, if I had to say like right now, officially after flying this for about a week, um, definitely got to give it to the Microsoft version. Uh, again, I don't think that makes this a bad plane at all. Um, just they're not quite there system-wise and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So yeah. Uh, Matthew O, thanks for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, 29 months. It's happy Thanksgiving, also 29 months. Time flies, absolutely wonderful, my friend. Thank you, dude, I appreciate that. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very kind, man. Um, preemptively, what I'm going to do here, friends, is I'm going to turn us to a heading of 240? No, it's got to be 280. I'm going to turn us to a heading of 280. I know that's what Mr. Marcus would be doing if we were on the Pilot Edge Network right now. So uh, we're going to go runway heading Happy Thanksgiving, till 7, Captain. Much love and gratitude. Alex, thanks for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel, man. That is very, very, very kind of you, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Uh, what did I do to the camera? There we go. Uh, thanks, Alex. I appreciate you, man. And six-month membership. It's a six-month milestone. Thanks for support, man. I appreciate you. Who is saying that I forgot the flaps? What are you talking about, dude? Come on. The, the, fla the flaps are set. Flaps, look. Flaps, eight degrees. I know that I've forgotten the flaps the past couple times. Or maybe once last time. But no, I... We got it. We're good, man. Don't you worry. Thank you. I know that I forgot. Didn't I forget the flaps last stream? Was it last stream? I forget. Um, all right, cool. Joystick cams going on. Enjoy the departure, my friends. I'll see you all on the other side. Let's bring our throttles up to about 40%. Chrono is still not working for me, so that's fine. Um, let's set our takeoff power. There it goes. A uh, little bit of nose down pressure. And there she goes. Remember, we're at elevation. We're at 4,500 feet, so it's going to take the aircraft a little bit to spool up here. And we've got a little bit of nose down pressure. Airspeed is rising and alive. Here comes 80 knots. Beautiful. We'll release the column. Have a great flight, Cap. Thank you. JP, appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you, thank you. And V1, rotate. Positive rate. Easy on that trim. Gears going up. Like a rocket ship. All right, 7,000 feet, then we'll make a right turn to 280. Nearly a tail strike, not even close. Holy macaroni, dude. First you're yelling at me for flaps, and now you're telling me nearly a tail strike. Ay ay ay. You, sir, need to be an NTSB investigator and get off flight sim. Alright, there we go. We're clean speed. Let's bring everything clean. Right, again, waiting for 7,000 feet, then we'll make our right turn. We have to clear the mountain range, that mountain range right there. He's got a number for me to call, apparently. All right, 7,000 feet, let's go heading select. Let's go speed mode. There we go. Heading select, speed mode, we're good. And we need to quickly, without killing us, I need to go down, oh shit, I can't do that because I'm using this thing. We need to go down here, we need to go direct, and we need to go direct to Corver. And we're gonna insert that, and we're gonna execute that, and then, oh, stop with these stupid views. And then we're gonna go to nav mode, Keep that turn coming. Stay within that mountain range. 
There's 10,000 feet already because of the altitude. Landing lights are coming off, nose lights off, wing light and logo lights are coming off. We'll bring the nose down, we'll gain a little bit of speed. We'll bring our speed up to about 290. 290 on the climb. Continue that right turn as well. We gotta go direct to Corver. Speed is good. Okay, there's 280. Happy Thanksgiving, Captain. Fly with rookie. I sent you an invite to my World Flight Team in your egg DM. Hopefully you would be interested in joining an already amazing roster. Oh man, I'll have to take a look at that. Thanks for support, Rook. I appreciate you, man. Dropping the 10 bomb. Huge no floaties to you, my friend. I will definitely take a look at that after, man. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. All right, let's get our autopilot on. 16,500 feet. We'll bring ourselves back up into the flight deck. Okay, after takeoff checklist, gear is up, flaps are up, everything is looking clean, lights are off and out. Uh, we're looking good, friends. We are looking good. We're climbing like a madman right now. I'm, uh, I'm leaving it in climb. We're going to pretend this is climb power. I know that I've left it in takeoff, but we're just going to pretend that this is climb power because the climb performance on, the, on it right now when you put it into climb mode is... Uh, pretty laughable. Okay, cool. We're on our way. Everything's looking good. Uh, what is the giveaway? We're giving away a copy of this airplane. Giving away a copy of the CRJ. We're going to do that once we get to cruise altitude. Um, I'm going to turn off X camera because it's broken as always. And there we go. Out of Salt Lake City, we're through uh, transition altitude. So we'll set that as well, 29 or 9 or 2. Sweet. Uh, Captain, on the MFD, does it show you are flying a crab? I believe it's a bug. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, it shows that it's like 10 degrees off or whatever. Well, right now it's not, well, kind of in a crab. I mean, it's not necessarily a bug, right? Because it's the wind component. I'd like to also see them add the little wind in the real CRJ, there's um, there's an identifier there that shows when the wind is coming. Uh, so that's cool. So I have trouble with the trim. Uh, what is labeled on X.11 to control it in the plane and handle it manually? You have trouble with the trim. What do you mean? Just want pitch trim up, pitch trim down. That's all you really want to set. Pitch trim up, pitch trim down. That's what you want to be setting. How, how do you enter the giveaway? I will let you know when it is time how to enter the giveaway, my friend. Do not worry. I will let you know. Remember, guys, if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. Would be very much appreciated. Hope you guys are all enjoying the content today. I know it's not going to be a busy day. It is a, a U.S. holiday. I know a lot of people are busy with family or they're traveling or they're doing this they're doing that so uh, i know it's going to be a very quiet day today um but yeah i wanted to offer you know a giveaway and something for you guys so what are your settings for enhanced skyscapes uh Jabba, they're all in my discord everything is in there that you're looking for i know you probably have asked the question a billion times what are you looking at uh but when looking at your face cam i can see three white dots that come in and out of the frame yeah so they're showing up probably on this side of me Sorry, uh, Captain, it's your Instagram DM. Instagram, okay, shit. I never check Instagram DM, Fly with Rookie, so it's a good thing you told me that because now I'll have to go and check. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Mopar, this guy, not even a message attached to that, just drops a 50 bomb and walks away. Oh, boy, this guy, man. Mopar, dude, dropping the 50 bomb. Guys, can you please get some love and chat for Mr. Mopar dude dropping the 50 bomb casually taking away that top spot just goes nah this is mine this is mine 
Mr. Mopar dude, huge no floaties to you, sir. Thank you very, very much for your continued support of the channel, my good friend. I hope you are having a uh, an amazing day. Does does it always now, my American friends? Does does Thanksgiving always fall on a Thursday, so that you end up getting Thursday and Friday off? Like, is, is that is that the purpose behind it? Because if if so, that's that's just that's just some great holiday planning right there. Whoever whoever thought of that deserves a pat on the back, because uh, that's some that's some that's some proper holiday planning right there. Absolutely. All right, we'll bring the throttles back here. Sure does, man. Genius. Genius is what it is. I'm telling you. Maverick, Polly D, thanks for supporting Maverick. All the way here on that. You can barely see Mav's name. It's so, uh, it's so big. You know what I should do? I should put Midnight Map. That way we can make it a little bit bigger. Go Midnight Mav. Let's do that. Midnight, midnight Mav. Can we do that? Midnight Mav. Yeah, there we go. Now we can actually make them a little bit better. No, sir. Mr. Mopar, dude, got to take that spot back. Happy Thanksgiving, Captain, for all you do. Uh, what the f... This guy, man... Drop in a hundred and twenty six dollar donation. Holy macaroni, Maverick! This guy, man, he ain't giving it up that easy. Holy macaroni, Mav! Huge no floaties to you, sir. 126. That's gonna put you up to 296 on the month, my friend. Holy macaroni. Guys, can we please get some love and chat for Midnight Mav dropping the fat $126 donation. What an absolute legend, man. Legend. I've been away from your streams for a while, but recently been lurking and watching when I can. Oh? Happy Thanksgiving. Um, who's that? I missed the name on that one. That was... Uh, Brent Hopkins Gaming. Thank you very much, man, for the $5 donation. Good to see you back, Brent. I appreciate you, man. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel, dude. That is uh, very kind. I truly do appreciate that, man. Thank you so, so much. Very, very kind. Holy macaroni. Guys, we're supposed to be doing a giveaway. You guys. All right, Midnight Mav is back up in there. We've got his name as Midnight Mav, so we can actually see his name. Mopar Dude is in there now. Okay, everybody's in their new homes. Everybody's happy. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Mopar Dude. Midnight Maverick. Jesus, guys. Thank you, man. That's that's very, very kind of you guys. Seriously. Very, very kind. Um, and then who is that? We've got Jared. Says, yo, was working from home today, enjoying my 51 per hour for holiday pay. <sighs> Hell yeah, dude. I would be too. Congratulations, sir. 51 bones an hour. You put in an eight-hour shift. That's some serious coinage, man. That is some serious coinage. All right. Friends, if you're interested in this aircraft, exclamation point giveaway in chat now. Exclamation point giveaway in chat for your chance at winning this beautiful aircraft. We are giving away a copy. Exclamation point giveaway in chat, my friends. Exclamation point giveaway in chat. For your chance at winning the beautiful AD Simulation CRJ 700. That beautiful ortho down there. Absolutely gorgeous. My camera's going off here for a second. It's a holiday, so we're definitely doing some stretching today. Uh, I've got some tunes ready for you guys. Would you guys like some tunes? We all like tunes, right? Yes, we do. We've got some tunes jamming as well. Yes, and only once, guys. 
Exclamation point giveaway in chat only once, please. To be sure, we cannot join the giveaway after it's ended, right? <laughs> Clifton, thanks for your support, my friend. You are correct, sir. You are correct. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Which one feels better to fly? Uh, this one, definitely. That's just the flight model in X-Plane is just that much better, right? No auto throttle in this, you are correct. You are correct. No auto throttle. All right, guys, a couple more minutes. We'll wait till this song is done and then we'll select a winner. There's about a minute and a half left of this song. We will select a winner. One lucky person is taking home this beautiful CRJ for X Plane 11. Oh, getting to contact me. Salt Lake City Center. On 12027. Center Delta 11, uh, flight level 290 for flight level 300. Delta 11, Salt Lake Center, squawk 6016. Other aircraft calling Salt Lake City again, call sign. United 773 Salt Lake Center, squawk 6067. Was that Delta 2684? Delta 2680 Salt Lake Center, squawk 6050. I'm going to call him up. It's cloudy with rain here in Memphis. What's the weather like in Ottawa? Uh, cloudy. Chance of freezing rain. Yeah. Uh, Salt Lake Center, Delta 2310 at flight level 370. Level 11, radar contact 40, use this center, flight level 300. Delta 2310, Salt Lake Center, squawk 6074. Uh, 6074, Delta 2310. Salt Lake, good afternoon. Skywest 3550, flyable tweeter. Delta 2310, ready to contact 30 West Bay, flyable 370. Tom, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. I would say rival, yep. 
Yeah, I would say I would say the the RJ for Microsoft Flight Simulator wins with system depth and uh, all of that stuff. But I prefer the flight model on this one just because it's X Plane's flight model, in my opinion. Until we get like an external flight model on Microsoft Flight Sim, I don't think. Like I just the 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 flight model right now is not tuned. Dragon Triple Seven Charlie Center Squawk Six Zero Five One. Do you recommend Active Sky? I do, yes. So like Center, good afternoon. Skywest 3550, flight level 280. Let's call it 3560. Skywest 3550. 3550, Salt Lake Center, Squawk 6041. Mary, triple seven, radar contact 25 south of Big Piney, level 300. All right, there we go. 6041 for him. He's got 3550, radar contact 35 north, Lucerne, level 28, sir. Got my hands on some Pineapple Express the other night. Oh, baby, nice. Sweet, I got some lion's mane right now. Lion's mane by Cookies California. Pretty nice. I got some. Uh, it's Salt Lake Center, Air Canada, one ninety seven. He's up on three hundred zero, squawking six zero. I got some birthday cake the other day too. Air Canada, one ninety seven. Seven. This stuff, man. Holy macaroni. All right, exclamation point giveaway. Let's select a winner. Exclamation point giveaway. If you haven't done so, if you've already well, done it, please don't seven. do it again. If you Delta haven't Delta. done so. Delta 17, 10, check again. Last year I called and say again. That was unreadable. Delta 17, 10, checking in descending. Delta 17, 10, Salt Lake Center. Squawk six zero zero five. Six zero zero five, Ron. Delta twenty six eighty. Squawk six zero two six. All right, let's select the winner here. The winner of the CRJ seven hundred is Maximilian Mueller. Maximilian Mueller. Delta seventeen ten radar contact six five. Congratulations to Maximilian Mueller. If you are here, Maximilian, please say something in chat. Congratulations, Maximilian Mueller. You have won the CRJ seven hundred. Congratulations, Maximilian Mueller. You have won yourself a free airplane, sir. Congratulations, Max. The only thing that I need from you, sir, um, is if you've never done it. Is, I'm going to need you to give me your email address. Hold on. Um, your email address that you use for the explain.org store. So the explain.org. I need the email address that you use for this website, okay? That's all I need from you. And then what they're going to do is they're going to... Uh, here's the aircraft right here. Um, yeah. So you're going to get this aircraft and you're going to give it to you in your account. So make sure that you... If you don't have an, uh, an account with explain.org store, go and create an account and just make sure that you use the same email address. Um, so Maximilian, I just need you to put your email address in chat. Uh, nobody will see it. Don't worry. About 306 Heavy Salt Lake Center. Can I ask question number one? Expect PDC. 2680, radar contact 25 North Sun Valley, level 36. 17 trend, descend via the Spud 3, landing east. Landing east for runway one zero right, is that? Uh, left or right, uh, approach will assign that for you. Roger. 
Right, 777 to send me the spud three landing east, boys. You got to 3057. Perfect. Thanks so much, Maximilian. I appreciate that, my friend. Huge no floaties to you guys again. Let's let's thank Maximilian for and uh, congratulate him on his uh, on his winning. Congrats, right, my 777. friend. 777 to send via the spud three landing east, Boise Altimeter 3057. All right, your email has been sent off to the corresponding person. Congratulations. Salt Lake Once Center again, Station Maximilian, congrats, my friend. Sierra. I hope Inbound you enjoy your Bravo, new airplane. Flight level 360. So it sounds like we're landing 10 left or right. Delta 2310, leave my airspace. Denver's offline. Radar service terminated. Please change crew. Everything's changed crew. Have a good day. Delta 1710, can I boys the approach? 119.6. 119.6, Roger. Delta 1710, Salt Lake Center, Station 233, Juliet Sierra, direct Provo, flight level 360. Two fifty-three Juliet Sierra, Salt Lake Center, Squawk six zero seven one. Six zero seven one, Citation two fifty-three Juliet Sierra. American triple seven, Salt Lake. American triple seven, descend via Spud three, landing east, altimeter three zero five six. CHLM, thanks so much for the support, my friend. I appreciate you, dude, dropping the five bomb. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Got to head over to my brother's for Turkey Day. I'll pop back in later on. Mr. Mopar, enjoy your day, my friend. Seriously, yeah, 35, thanks 35, for being 30, here, dude. 360 vector sequence. Skywest 3550, flying 360 vector sequence. 360 for Skywest 3550. Alright, he wants us 360 for right, sequence. 233 Juliet Sierra, radar contact 35 East, might and follow 360. Descend pilot discretion, maintain follow 240. Uh, descend maintain my discretion. Yeah, did you hear about the PBG 737 and, releasing uh, uh, late uh, January? I have. Yes, excited. About two months to go. Very exciting news. I hope it flies great, man. Not quite sure where the other aircraft was. Yeah. Horizon 3915, Salt Lake Center, Squawk 6024. Salt Lake Center, Delta 11, did I miss a radio call? Horizon, Horizon at 3915. Guys, yeah, 3550 to center, maintain level 250, maintain 2509. Cap, your thoughts about the new Orbex? Orbex, maintain 2509. Orbex, True Earth, south of Spain. Uh, I haven't still really still looked on. at it yet, to be honest with you. I haven't looked at it yet. For a Christmas release, 3915 radar contact yes. over. Uh, he is well. Looks like Williams level 270. Correction level 250. God, this is a sexy airplane, man. I love the RJ. Skywest 
Yeah, 78. Uh, 46, Sully, set your question number one. Scouts, 3550, Sully. Go ahead for 3550. Scouts, 3550, descend and maintain level 250, maintain 250 knots. Down to 25,000 feet and speed 250 as well. Uh, Scout was 3550. Delta 11, flighting 360. Right, he wants us at 25,000 feet. Vertical speed. Window, what's up, man? Same to you, my friend. Happy Thanksgiving to you, sir. Can you repeat that for Delta 11? Delta 11, flying 360, vector sequence. Uh, fly vectors, you said 360, and after that broke up. Delta 11, flying 360, vector sequence. 360, is that vector sequence. It is, Delta yes. 11. Jonathan, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How are you? Welcome, welcome. We're having a great Thanksgiving, man. When will I fly in and out of Norway? Hopefully soon. I want to take the Q400 out. I want to go do some some Widero, Widero hops in, in, in Norway in the Q400. So I would probably say within the next couple weeks we're going to see that. I think what's going to happen... Um, I think what's going to happen uh, no, is... Heavy, negative. Uh, for the if you want a revision to your route, though, you can contact me. We're going to jump back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I think, for the rest of this week. I'm, I've been I've been wanting to fly the A320, the A321X mod, so I think we're gonna jump in Microsoft Flight Sim for the to finish off the rest of this week. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we're gonna jump Microsoft Flight Sim, and then I think next week we'll either jump in the Q400 or um, something a little bit Scale different. We'll see. Uh, Daniel, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Yeah, it's 3550. Clear direct broth. Clear direct broth. 3550. Yeah, 7846. You click to the Salt Lake City Airport as filed. Climb maintain for level 320. Departures 120. Now track, direct Squad broth. 6011. I right, cleared Salt Lake. Uh, climb uh, flight level 320. Depart with you 6611. Skyway 7846. Yeah, 7846. Squad code 6011. Rest of your backs correct. Uh, let's see. Great Falls, Altimeter 3009. Runway 21 for departure. Right, six, zero, so one, to maintain one, two five and, zero uh, knots. Uh, Switch to the development years. branch in the fly by wire installer. Experimental three, two, won't three, be updated three, two, eight, for there, the time to maintain one four thousand. Okay. The, uh, let's see. For now, Salt Lake Observer three zero six five. They no longer use the experimental again. So make sure you we'll, update uh, the latest seven, developmental the one, four, branch. Thousand, back to it. Okay, three, zero, six, five, I appreciate that. Uh, 2652, runway 36, correct runway 16, right? Taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. Foxtrot Alpha, Delta 2650. 2330, Juliet Sierra, profile timbers 306. Ultimate turn for 306, 2330. Hey, Gap, hope you well. I fly the XCraft Legacy 615 X plane. I'm wondering if the CRJ7 would be similar. I think so. I think the design. Well, the one, one, isn't like, maintain, isn't the cockpit two, kind six, of this zero. very similar? I think the CRJ would be like the next. Well, well, two six zero Delta one one. Scouts thirty five fifty descend via the Spud three arrival landing east the Boise altimeter three zero five six. We'll descend by the Spud three landing east Skywest thirty five fifty thanks. American seven seventy seven contact Boise approach one one nine or point six. American 777, Boise Approach, 119.6. All right. We need... Um, we need to be at MASH. MASH? There's MASH. 
We need to be at mash for 11,250. So, what are we at right now? 250. We need to right, lose. Three, 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 Juliet's here. Advise when you have the Provo weather. 14,000 feet. Uh, we can have weather, weather on board. 14 uh, times 3. Runway one, three, two, three, three, is two, what, chat? 333 Juliet's here. My speed. So we need about 45, 50 miles to descend. It's 42, but we need about 50, 50 miles to descend. So. Delta 11, you clear direct to Broth. Clear direct Broth, Delta 11. That's 37, 44. By by the time we hit Broth, we'll start our descent. Should be perfect. Is this all ortho? This is vertical sim V states. John, thanks for support, man. I appreciate you. Dude. So like Congratulations, sir. Just checking in. Looks like I'm leaving your airspace. In <clears throat> Congratulations, my friend. Thank you very much uh, for being here, man. Two and a half years. It's absolutely space, bananas. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Well, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Happy Thanksgiving. Over yeah. Tony, same to you, my friend. See ya. Take care. Thanks, man. Got to watch our speed. There's no auto throttle, so I'm constantly making small little adjustments. So I apologize if I have to keep jumping in here and you're not happy about that. Uh, there's a hundred terabyte drive for 40k. How much scenery could you fit in that? Jesus, dude, can you imagine, man? Good afternoon, Cap. Have a Thanksgiving for Top my 11, USA send me friends. The yes. 3, the Brovo, Absolutely. Same to you. East, the Boise Altimeter 3056. All right, about seven miles send out. Send me the Spud 3 landing east, Delta 11. Brof. Brof. Broth, broth. Just passed my class two medical the other day. Uh, one step closer to make my dreams come true. Hell yes, dude. Absolutely awesome. Good news, man. Good news. Makes me happy. I'm a proud dad. Proud dad. All my all my children are growing up right before my eyes. Uh, Twenty six fifty two. Win one four zero at five. Starts in the sim, right, guys? One six right, line boy. Line up and wait up to 2652. That needs to be. Daddy Canada. Are you planning on doing flights uh, to or from Charlotte with the new FSDT scenery? Uh, JP, I heard it wasn't very good. Can you share some some light on that? Um, all right, eleven thousand feet. Sorry, I gotta we gotta plan our descent here in a second. I've heard that the new scenery. You're talking about the X-plane scenery, correct? I've heard it is not the best scenery. Two thousand feet per minute. We're gonna pull the power back here. We'll put some sounds back in. All right, so we're descending via the Spud Three. So if we open up our charts now, uh, I will show you the Spud 3. Well, I want to open these airports. Yeah, you put there like that. Then we'll go Spud 3. We'll make you a little bit of this on there. We'll close that. We'll minimize that. There we go. This looks nice. So, uh, yes. You can see here we've got the... Uh, we're on the Spuds. So we've got uh, altitudes... We need to be above 19,000, uh, above 11. We need MASH 11 at 250. And then for MASH, we're going to make the left turn at Faldi. Um, and then we're going to take it to Kona. And then it's going to be radar vectors. 
down and in for hopefully 10 right, because that's what we've programmed. But that's the plan. So I'll say there for Delta 11. Right uh, can we main, uh, resume normal speed or still maintain it? Uh, Delta 11 for the spacing, we maintain uh, 250 knots until slow by the start. Roger that, maintaining 250 Delta 11. You forgot to say Microsoft Flight Sim. Oh, see, I'll have to take a look at that, JP. I didn't know. I, I know that we got one for X Plane recently, and it's not very good. So, um, yeah, I'll have to take a look, man. What happened to Nimbus, who planned to release JFK, Charlotte, and Dulles this year? Nimbus went completely silent, man. Um, people have been trying to figure out what's going on and if we were still getting it and what the plan for it was. And there's been absolutely no, uh, no communication from the, from the, from the Nimbus guys. There's been nobody that's said, oh yeah, it's coming. Oh yeah, we've got this, you know, we've got that. We're, we're this far away. We're that far away. There's just been absolutely nothing. Zero comments. So I don't, I don't really know, man. I don't really know what's going on. Junior pilot, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How are you? Yeah, 7846, runway 21, taxi Alpha. Microsoft Flight Sim looks good, in your opinion. I've been looking uh, forward to getting some good Charlotte scenery. Cool. I'll take a look, man. Yeah, I'll take a look. We actually need some, we need some scenery. So, um, I'll take a look. Maybe we can fly in this week. Who mainly flies in and out of Charlotte? Is it American? Spirit? Who could we fly a 320neo with? Somewhat keep it realistic. The exterior of this bird looks really good and realistic. They did a great job. Yeah, the, the, the modeling and the textures of this airplane are beautiful. Um, you know, let's let's not forget that there's a, you know, a full, full customizable, oh, hold on, let's turn on the lights. Full customizable cabin in here with lighting control and uh, it really does make the cabin nice especially like when it's at nighttime and you've got it all lit up two class layout we've got first class we've got uh, economy here as well and of course we have the back of the airplane with a working toilet look at how cool that looks you know the door actually works so yeah really cool american has a hub there okay cool so we can fly American Airlines. Maybe we fly like, ooh, maybe we try the river visual because we got kind of screwed with weather last time we tried that river visual. It wasn't the best approach. We'll see. Yeah, maybe we can do some cool stuff. Juliet's here. Verify maintain one four thousand. All right, uh, we're just through eighteen thousand feet as well. So let's update the. Uh, weather here for Boise. Uh, winds are 340 at 4 knots. It's going to be an interesting route. I guess it's 4 knots, so it's not all that interesting. Uh, altimeter 3056. Is it just me or is like this insanely high pressure? 3056. Direct to desert. Maintain resume normal speed. Do the seatbelt signs work in the cabin above the seats? I don't know, Fred. I don't know, man. Yeah. Is this plane any good though? Yeah, um, so, so is that for Skywest 3550? Skywest 3550, kind of Boise approach, 119.6. 119.6, thanks man, sorry I'm deaf today, appreciate it. Alright. American 7 You have information. Working toilet is a game changer for me. <laughs> oh man. American 777, thank you. Cleared Arnav Zulu, runway one zero right approach. Sounds like they're giving out uh, Arnav approaches. Arnav Zulu, I don't know if I trust this airplane to do an Arnav Zulu, we'll see. Um, okay, what were the restrictions? We're still descending here, we're through that, so we've just got 11,000 at tout. But that's fine. We're looking fine at that. We need to be at 11 for MASH. MASH is about 30 miles out. I think we're good on that. Um, let's call him up. Boise approach. Good uh, afternoon. Sky was 3551. 4,500 descending on the spud 3. Sky was 3550. Big sky approach. Thank you. Information Alpha current. Let me know when you have that. Expect the RNAV Zulu. Runway 10 right approach from XME. All right, we'll go ahead and grab Alpha, and we'll expect the Arnav Zulu uh, one zero right approach from Ekmi for Skywest thirty five fifty. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't screw anything up. Let's try and do this again. Let's go to Boise. 
Uh, we could actually leave that the same, but we're going to go here and we're going to go Arnav Zulu from Ekmi. And we'll execute that. Now if we go to legs, might have some... So to 1710, runway one zero right, clear to land. One zero right, clear to land. Delta 780. Okay, so now we need to pull this up. We need to take a look at this because we got to make sure we're doing this correctly. So, um... I see Illumi, so hold on. We're going to go to you. We're going to go to Boise. We're going to open you up charts. We're going to go to approach. We're going to go to Arnav. Uh, 10 right Zulu from... Ikimi? Is that where he gave it to us from? I think that's right. Isn't it default FMC a bit annoying? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I have, that's, I was, yeah. They are making a custom FMC, so there's that to look forward to at least, but um, yeah, the, the, the default FMC leaves a lot to be, uh, a lot a lot to uh, be desired, that's for sure. Um, okay, I'm a little bit confused as to like why we're not getting it from like here or something like that, but I mean, um, Spud 3, so we're coming in this way. I guess it makes sense, I guess we're coming this way, but, oh, there's Akimi. Where am I getting it from? I thought he's, he said Akimi, right? So it should be Mash, Spud, Faldi, Alumi, Ikimi. That's what it should be. So Mash, Spud, Faldi, Alumi, Ikimi. Okay. Delta 11, so late correction, big sky approach. Expect the Arnav Zulu runway one zero right approach at Ekmi. Information Alpha current. Let me know when you have that. Not sure if you checked in or not. And then from there, expecting uh, Arnav Zulu ten right approach for Delta one one at Ekmi. I think you said. That's correct at Ekmi. There's Ekmi to Bubsy to Jodix to. I used to be to uh, runway yes, ten. I mean, it's got everything in there, and then it's and then it's got American the 7, after. So, right. runway one to your right. It's got line. everything in there. It's got everything that's supposed to be there. So we'll see how it handles this. We shall see. Um, let me go to. Let's go to this, and. Got minimums 327 on the mins. We also need to repopulate you. <coughs> 230, I don't know, it's fine. We should be at 7,000. So. Lots of time. All right, three. I guess at three twenty-seven. We'll take a look after. Three twenty-seven. Okay, cool. We're looking good. Sky West 3515, see airspeed. 240 knots, Sky West 3515. Delta 11, when able, reduce speed to 230 knots or less.
American 777 cross from only two. Going to be rough right flying that with Charlie no VNAV. Uh, right yeah, big time. This frequency today. Big time. Thank you for the amazing content on here, Cap. I've been watching uh, your videos for three years. They're so amazing. Keep up the amazing work. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. That means a lot, too. Glad you're enjoying the content. Thanks so much. Captain Rick, what's up, man? 13 months. Appreciate y'all, man. Huge show to see you, Captain Rick. When able. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank Reduce you. Reduce speed to 230. The AD simulations is free? No, it's not. Is that for Delta 11? Yes, sir. Uh, Delta 11, when able, reduce speed to 230 knots, 230 or less. 230 or less, uh, when able, Delta 11. Are you flying in Europe anytime soon? Um, yeah, we usually split week by week, so next week we'll be back in Europe. Yep. Mind if I join on the Lex egg? Feel free, man. Feel free, dude. I mean, that's your opinion, Mohammed. You don't need to, you know, be rude about it. If you feel the plane's not worth it because it has a default FMC, that's perfectly fine. You are entitled to that opinion, but I wouldn't call it a Skyway trash plane. Skyway 3550, at ECMI, cleared Arnav Zulu, runway 10 right approach. At ECMI, cleared Arnav Zulu, 10 right approach, Skywest 3550. Replay today, there's always a replay, yeah. Big Sky approach, good morning, horizon air 2514, request I-44. All right, let's get 7,000 feet in. Rise in 2514, big sky approach. Working on that now, stand by. Is this the last flight? This is the first flight. We're going over to Portland after this. Portland, Oregon. All right, there we go. Maintain 240. Coming up on 10,000 feet, so we'll go ahead and get our seatbelt signs on and our landing site lights. Make sure landing lights are on and seatbelt signs are on, which they are, so we're good there. Keeping 240 knots for the traffic behind as they're at 230, so we don't want to go lower than that. Sounds good, Alex. Dusseldorf to Nice. Not sure if we're supposed to have clouds here or anything, but... Oregon's actually my home state where I was uh, born and raised. I was raised in Eugene. Very cool, Tony. Very, very cool, man. Was there a speed? Uh, I think it was 210. Um, no. No speed. Unless it was on the actual arrival chart. Yeah, sorry, 210. 7,000 feet, 210. 210 knots. We're actually going to pull our power back here. Gonna shallow out the descent a little bit. There's 7,000 feet, so we're looking good. We are five miles from Ekemi. We're looking good. Alright, and we need 210 knots. Get that in. And I'll turn our sounds all the way up. Delta 11 at Technique. Cleared Arnaz, you do run me once you're right approach. 
All right, so we need to be at 3,800 feet. That me cleared our nav, uh, Zulu 10 right approach. So our next step down, 3,800. Good. All right, 7,210 knots checked. We're looking good. Mama, just stop, man. What are you talking about, dude? I don't know what you're talking about. Just stop. You sound, you sound very uneducated right now. Just stop. Just, like I said, it's okay, man. If you don't like the airplane, that's fine. It's completely fine. Just, you can stop it there, man. You don't have to. You don't have to be here. You don't have to like it. All right, let's go at about a thousand feet per minute. All right, come over here. We're going to look for about 130 knots on the approach speed. Good. Should be making a right turn now. Keep that speed back. Let's go flaps one. Should be our slats. There they go. Slats are out. I'm trying to help people not waste their money. They don't need your help, Mohammed. That's why I'm streaming the airplane. You get to make that decision yourself. Do you see what I'm getting at? They don't need Mohammed's help. And they don't need Mohammed slandering the airplane in chat. Seven, they get to make that seven, decision seven, themselves by watching a streamer fly the airplane. Line, just a little bit Do you see where I'm getting at, Mohammed? Just, you either enjoy the content or you don't, man. Nobody's forcing you to be here and watch this airplane. The airplane's flying an RNAV approach, no problem. Do you know how many airplanes within X-Plane can't do this alone? Come on, man. Just chill, bro. Just enjoy the stream, man. That's all we're saying. Just enjoy the stream. Chat doesn't need Muhammad to let them know whether Sky the airplane is worth it or not. One's your right clear to land, Skywest. Uh, 3550. 2500. Let's start bringing everything out here. Let's go flaps five degrees. Speed's coming back to 170 knots. Right, I'm going to engage my X camera again, and uh, there's the airport right there. Let's drop our gear, flaps, and I'm going to take control of the airplane, enjoy the arrival. Little bit high up on the approach, but that's my fault again. Flaps, should be able to get it down in time. Try and lose a bunch of altitude right now. Uh, let's get you on. You on, good. And there's 160 Watch knots, out. we can go flaps full. Okay, we're two white, two red now. So we're okay, we're looking good. Looking for about 129 knots. We're gonna use this as a reference. There we go, speed's coming back in. Okay, we're looking good. There we go, back on track. CRJ, 
reversers. Nose down gently. Accelerating. Slightly on the brakes. Nose down. Reversers. And we're good. Let's try and get on the brakes and we'll vacate to the left here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Down to Boise. All right, the gate to the left. We've got traffic behind us. All right, we're on Echo. Then approach Skywest 3550. He's vacated Echo. Skywest 3550, cross runway 10 one zero left at Echo. Taxi ran by Alpha in this race today. Cross one zero right via sorry one zero left via Echo ramp via Alpha on this frequency and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for your TC. This guy was 3550. No Alright, bring you guys back up into the flight deck. Alright. Sweet. Let's uh, clean everything up here. So hard the passengers probably got a concussion. You're a special kind of special, aren't you, Mohammed? It's okay, man. You forget that, you forget like the job that I do, Mohammed. I literally work on the internet. I see the biggest and the brightest every single day that I stream, my friend. So, Muhammad, you are absolutely nothing special. You might win the uh, the award for, uh, you know, uh, special of the day, but uh, that's okay. All right, landing lights are off. Taxi lights are staying on. Let's get our strobe lights off as well. Let's go ahead and open up our APU door. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boise. Oh my goodness. Can we talk about that grease for a second? Oh, little bit out of shape coming out of that RNAV. I got us a little bit too high. I should have been descending a little bit quicker. But, uh, yeah. Holy. Alright, cool. Everything looks good. We've got our APU door open. Wonderful. Spooling up the APU. Beautiful. Let's clean up our flaps. We're looking good there. Spoilers are cleaned as well. Good. We're entering the ramp area. Let's get our tax laid off. We don't need to blind anybody. Uh, we're actually going over here. We want to go this way. This is where all the little RJs go. We're going right into this stand right here. Look at this scenery by vertical as well. Like I said, I, I truly feel like this is one of Vertical Sim's uh, best scenery offers. Maybe it's just the airport. Maybe I like the airport. But uh, to me, the scenery is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Muhammad, I, I have the Felis, I have the I and I builds, I have everybody, not everybody can be at that level, and I think that's exactly where you're wrong in thinking that every plane needs to be on the Felis 742 or I and I builds level. Um, this plane is priced accordingly, it's, uh, you know, a fraction of what those add-ons cost, um, and if you're somebody that just is looking for a decent model with some, you know, decent systems and stuff, it does the trick. As you just saw, it flew an RNAV arrival. So, uh, whatever you want to say, that's perfectly fine, like I said. Um, your opinion is your opinion. Nobody is trying to sway that away from you. What we're trying to make you Number understand is that <laughs> your opinion means jack shit here. That's all we want you to understand. <laughs> we don't care about your opinion. That's what we're trying to get at. Okay, cool. We look good. Every uh, stream I watch gets, away, gets me closer right and back, closer right to building a sim on my PC. Yes. Do it. Do it. APU Gen is online. We're looking good. Engine number one and two is off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into Boise. Beacon light is coming off. Seatbelts are coming off as well, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. What a beautiful flight that was with an absolute greasy butter to top it off with some beautiful ATC as well. Absolutely gorgeous. I think what I'm going to do just for the next flight I think I'm going to go over here just so I, di I didn't realize that it was going to be so cramped. Actually, that Alaska's pushed back, so we should be okay for us. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Solid parking. Absolutely beautiful. Great flight. Hold on. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll try and do everything proper here for you. There you go. We'll open that one up, and uh, we'll let you out of, the, uh, out of the aircraft. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Boise. Now, we had some different scenery, but uh, again, I think, like I said, I truly believe this is uh, <coughs> a vertical uh, 
Vertical Sims, one of his one of his nicer sceneries. Uh, we'll take a quick look at it. It is Boise International. Um, I love one, one, flying here, right? actually. Yeah, cool. Some really cool, one, um, one cross really one cool scenery. I think you did a great job on this. I think you did uh, an awesome Sorry, job. Sorry, I'm late, CPT. That. How are you finding Cross, the CRJ? Uh, I'm Harry. trying to convince and myself to buy it. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it, man, Harry. Honestly, dude, I think what I would do is I would watch the stream, see how you like it. Um, if you're if you're somebody who's looking for a little bit more golf, system yes, sir, depth, like I would say hold right. off. If you're somebody that's just looking for a, for a fun RJ to fly and you kind of um, you're looking for something like right, that, I would say it's it, it's probably it. worth it. It's it's quite a lot of fun to fly. It 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 the right, flight model is the, uh, nice. Um, if you understand how to fly the RJ and just kind of that uh, low that low wing and how it flies, um, just fly it into the ground. It's 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 quite a lot of fun to fly. Um, quite a lot of fun to fly. Um, but yeah. Okay, cool. So, let's take a look at our replay. Nice little scenery tour there. Oh, shit. Hold on. Didn't mean to do that. I have to go here, and we have to close the door. All right, cool. Wait for the door to close. There we go. Now the door is closed. Now we can toggle replay. All right. Let's back it up. Let's take a look at this. Again, came in a little bit high. But, uh, I mean, that's the beauty of these little RJs, right? Is even if you're a little bit high up on the approach, you saw what we did. A little bit of, little bit of fast descent down and we're good to go. So, um, guys, can we get some love in chat for CHLM and Harry97? CHLM, definitely got to buy a PC, man. 100%, dude. Just do it. You, uh, you won't regret it, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, though. Thank you very, very much for your support as well, man. And uh, Harry97 dropping the 10 bomb as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's the best way that I can describe it. If you're somebody that's looking for some system depth, this airplane may not be the one for you quite yet. If you're okay with that and you, you kind of understand that you've got like your I and I builds and you have your Tolis and you have your Zebo, you have those airplanes to fly if, you, if that's what you're looking for, but you just kind of want to have something on the side, um, that may, that is just kind of fun to fly, then I would suggest this for sure. Yeah. And I think at the price point, I think at like 50 bucks, I think you're kind of, you're buying into the developer as well. You're buying into the progression, the progress of the, of, of the project, you know? So, yeah, absolutely. Oh man. So greasy. So greasy. Oof. Oof. Oh, vertical. We're actually, but we can't see. I can't see out. I like the idea of giving me that as a tower view, but I can't see out. So now I have to make my own tower view, Mr. Vertical. Where's the tower? Hold on, I'm trying to find the tower. There it is. Smooth it was, yeah. It was a nice landing. Man, landing this thing is... Uh, I mean, landing the RJ, it, it almost like wants to land itself. If you fly it properly and you actually fly it into the ground, it, it, it essentially lands itself. And we kept that one under 10 seconds, which I'm very happy about. And you see how like it, it lands almost flat. You know what I mean? Like it's it, it does such a crazy... It, it's so crazy how it lands. Uh, did you notice uh, the pappies? It was barely, uh, barely visible. Superpower? Uh, no, I noticed the pappies. They're on the left-hand side. Two white, two red. They were good. Nice and smooth. No, um, no pause. Like we never, you know, we never stopped our descent. It was a nice, smooth, fluid descent in. Exper exterior model looks really good. Yes, it is. Yeah, I love the wing flex as well. Nice wing flex on this airplane. Thanks for having us, Golden. Appreciate you, man. 
We're going to be departing out of there now. We're going to be going over to Portland. I'm just going to restart the sim here. I love the little the little subtle wing flex. Looks awesome. And the F-Mod sounds, in my opinion, are absolutely great. All right, I'm going to rewind it from about here. You guys will enjoy the replay, and I will see you guys all in about five or ten minutes. Enjoy, guys.
Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. Hope you are all doing well. Hope that break didn't take too long. We are back in our beautiful SkyWest Airlines. You probably heard we got our PDC, so we're ready to rock and roll. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump in the pit. Let's get this bad boy on and ready to go. Uh, let's get our seatbelt signs. Uh, sorry, seatbelt signs. Let's get our master battery switch on. Let's get the aircraft uh, external power on and available as well. It's going to bring the airplane to life. Cool. Let's get some overhead lights on. Let's continue down here. Research fans. Uh, can go on and our packs are going to go off for now. Cargo 
Uh, air is on. We'll get our window heat to low. That's good. Uh, no smoking on. Seatbelt sign on. Uh, emergency lights armed. We'll get our nav lights on. We'll get our logo lights on. Beautiful. Cool. Everything looks good with there. Let's come down here. We'll start setting this bad boy up. Uh, we're going to use the pop-out method. Cool. We're going to go down here. We're going to go to the uh, open the door so that we can load passengers. Cool. Passenger count this afternoon um, is... What do we have here? 67 once again. We'll plug that in. Good. That is all set. We're going to go to fuel. We're actually going to go here. We're going to switch this to kilograms. Then we'll go to fuel. Um, fuel for today's flight, we need uh, 3,900. So we're just going to put, uh, we'll put 2,000 in each. That should be good. So uh, we'll put 2,000, enter, 2,000, enter. Cool. There we go. So that's 3,900. We'll put 4,000. That's perfectly fine. Zero out on you. Um, cool. Sweet. I'm happy with all of that. That is good. Wonderful. Let's come down here to our FMC. We're going to go to the flight plan page and we're going to load our company route so we are kboy to pdx 01 good populate that good we'll execute that cool our flight number is skywest 2514 skywest 2514 good we'll populate that good execute that beautiful um now we do have our cpdlc Cleared to 34,000 feet, uh, Boise 3. Uh, okay, wait, he changed my route. Okay, hopefully I can change that. Um, okay, I'm going to pause the music. You're there, good. Okay, so he gave us the Boise 3 departure. So we're going to go departures. Um, we're going to be off on 10 left on the Boise 3. So we will go ahead and execute that. Then we go to our legs page. It's going to be radar vectors to... Wait, did he like... Okay, this has been completely changed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete all of these out. Delete. 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 Execute. Okay. Going to go to flight plan. So, from radar vectors, we are apparently going direct to Ola or Ula. Ola. Alright. And we'll insert that. From Ola, we're jumping to Jorad. Jorad. Alright. And from Jorad, we're going to go and jump on the Hood 4 arrival. So we're going to plan for the Hood 4 with the Jorad transition for the ILS 10 left from Buxom. And we'll execute that. We'll go to our legs page. We'll scroll through. Um, you're going to come up there like that. That's good. That's all good. That is all good. Um, and that is all looking great. Okay, cool. I'm happy with all of that. Wonderful. Um, we're going to leave that like that. That is all set up now. I'm happy with you. Let's go to the overhead and get our fuel pumps on. We'll open up our APU door. Um, that is all looking good. We'll come down here. We'll wait for the APU door open message, which we've got. Good. We'll go ahead and fire up the APU. Good. That's doing its thing. Um, we can now go and set the altimeter... Three zero five. Sec, I'm gonna grab that now. Three zero five four. Thirty fifty four. Let's set our V speeds. Come up here to you, and we'll load takeoff speeds and our stab trim at seven point eight. That's all good, and I'm happy with that. I'm gonna close the door. We should have all of our passengers on board. And that's all good. V speeds have been all set and selected. Good. So we'll get the. Uh, I'll take a look at our charts here very quickly. We'll go to flights. New flight from Simbrief, Boise to Phoenix. And we've got Boise up, so we'll go to our standard instrument departures. We're going to be on the Boise 3. 
Uh, it's literally runway heading, so zero, uh, nine zero. Uh, top altitude, 16,000 feet. So what we'll do is we'll plug that in. 16,000 feet. Good. Got you in there. Sweet. That all looks good. We will flip our source to you. Okay. So it's basically going to be out and then a left turn. Ula. All right. Cool. I'm happy with that. So uh, in our heading, we're going to put 098. There we go. All right, wonderful. Go to the overhead, EPU is on and available. We'll make sure that our left pack and right packs are on. They automatically, kind of like in the Airbus, the pack system turns off when you start the engines. We can go ahead and remove the ground power. Um, over here, external power is removed, cool. And our squat code today, 6063. 6063. Six zero six three, and we will make sure that you are on and reporting, which you are. Um, okay, cool. We're looking good. Anti skid can go armed. Good. Everything else is fine and dandy. We're on APU. We're on power. It's got a red beacon light on. Plugins better push back. Start push back. Yes, cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. I would like you to take me right here, sir. Good. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. All right, cool. Let's tune to uh, 19.6 now. Uh, we shouldn't have to call for our pushback, but you never know. We shouldn't have to. We should be okay. If we go outside, you'll see the tow coming up here any second. Hey, Gap, how are you, my friend? Hey, Chad Daza, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Mr. Schmitty, happy Thanksgiving to you, my friend. Happy Thanksgiving to you, sir. I'm going to have, hopefully... Have your package sent off here soon, Schmitty. Uh, every time I go to the store, I end up picking up a thing or two that I see for you. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. All right, he is connecting. Cruz, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Uh, inertia, how are you, my friend? I'm doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Brandon, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Hope all is well. Winching strap and adapter in position. Release parking brake when ready to start pushback. All right. Well, we are ready for that, so let's release our park brake. Not much cruise, just enjoying the afternoon, flying around, man. Back, and you may start engines. Alrighty. Wonderful. Let's go upstairs. We'll get our ignition on. Actually, we'll get on, 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 on. Ignition system to continuous. And we'll fire up engine number two. Come down here. We'll look for a good start on N2, which there is. We'll look for about 12%. We'll introduce fuel. Move it to idle. All good, Cap. Got my 7.3 simulator experience booked for January, so I can't wait. Nice. That sounds like fun. Where are you going with that pushback? Rishab, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How are you? It's the morning in New Zealand. Nice. Good morning to you, sir. He doesn't push me into the terminal. We're okay. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Thank you. All right. Introduce fuel. Ignite. Will there be another giveaway? That's it for today, Freddy, unfortunately, man. That is it for today, my friend. Sorry. Soon, though, man. Keep in mind, it is this time of the year, right? 
So we'll be doing some giveaways, you know, around the Christmas time. I think we're going to be giving away a couple copies of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So it's be disconnected fun times. and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Thank you, Mr. John Fly. All right, we got two good engines. Looking good. APU generator can go off. Uh, ignition system can go off. APU can go off. APU door gets closed. Uh, everything else looks good up here. I'm happy with all of that. We got a Delta 7-3 departing. Nice. Love seeing that. Um, let's set our mock trim. Come back here and set our flaps to 8 degrees. Ouroboros, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, dude. How are you? Tell the terminal to move, right? I wish, dude. I wish it was that easy. All right, park brake is released. Ranger Rick, yeah, well you've got your you've got your generators up here so you can go APU gen off. Your engine generators usually stay in the auto position though. So yes, it is an automatic transfer of power over. Big size approach, uh, Skywest 2514 with Alpha. Short of uh, short of Alpha ready to taxi one zero right. Or one zero left. Five fourteen. The excited departure from one zero left taxi by Alpha Whiskey. One zero left Alpha Whiskey Skywest twenty five fourteen. All right, taxi lights coming on. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. One thing that I do like about the RJ is the big windows, man. Just being able to see like everything around your airplane. Once you approach Delta 11, uh, hold short of Alpha, ready for text with information Alpha. What does this flight with to Aspen? Delta yeah, we've flown in Aspen a bunch, man. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get one done. Bravo's down currently, but then we have that giveaway to the CRJ 700 just passing Echo on Alpha there. Only one zero left taxi by Alpha Whiskey. Man, Vertical did such a good job with this scenery, dude. Looks great. We do have Bravo, uh, Delta 11, ready for text. At a 165, turn left, clear direct, go walk. Turn right to all up, go 165. Was you approached, uh, uh, we have Bravo, information Bravo, Delta 11, ready for taxi. Delta 11, I think, uh, runway 10 left, taxi by Alpha Whiskey. Alpha Whiskey, 10 left, uh, Delta 11. FAA, uh oh, coming for us, guys. Coming for us. All right, our next left is going to be whiskey, which we want to take. Skywest 2514 holding short, 10 left at Whiskey, ready for departure. Skywest 2514, runway 10 left, clear for takeoff. 10 left, clear for takeoff, Skywest 2514. Alright, cool. Let's go to our joystick cam on, enjoy the departure, friends. I would like to see the amount of thrust. And a bridge loss, got 2340 with Bravo, turn left. How much forward uh, thrust do you need just to get the aircraft moving? Alpha Whiskey to 10 left, Alaska 2340. Alrighty guys, enjoy the departure. 
Bottle's 40%. We're going to pretend that we've got Chrono on. Stick forward. Let's go. Take off power set. Airspeed's rolling. 80 knots. Release the column. V1, rotate, positive rate, gears going up, there's that RJ we all know and love. Sounds. Oof. Big sky approach, uh, Delta 1 1. Right, climbs in. We're going clean. Uh, we're left, ready for take off. Delta 11. We're going heading. We're going, we're going speed. speed. Uh, yeah, center of fighting camp. Okay. Roger that. Holding short, waiting. Delta uh, 1 1. Skywest 2514, Raider contact, sail. Passing through 7000, Skywest 2514. Skywest 2514, turn left, clear direct, hola. Left direct, hola, for Skywest 2514. All right, so we gotta come down here, we're gonna go direct, we're gonna go hola, we're gonna insert, we're gonna go execute, we're then gonna flip to, oops, that's not what I wanted. We're then gonna flip to nav mode, so I'm not stalling us out of the sky, which I don't think I am, but, okay. Cool. 220 knots. We're looking good. We're flaps clean. We're going to start making our left turn now. Direct Ola. We want to keep our speed up as, as fast as possible. Custom emojis don't work. Hey, you need to be a member. All right, 10,000 feet, landing lights are off, taxi lights, logo lights, wing lights, looking good. Delta 11, runway one zero left, line up a wing. Line up a wing, one zero left, Delta 11. All right, 12,000 feet, I'm getting autopilot on so we can continue making this turn. Bring you guys back up into the flight deck. Nice departure. All right, we're going to get our speed up now. We're going to go vertical speed. I'm at about 1,000 feet per minute. Get our speed up to 290 for the climb. Delta 11, runway 1 to your left, clear for takeoff. 1 0 left, clear for takeoff, Delta 1 1. Skywest 2514, contact Salt Lake Center 120.27. 2027, thanks for your GC, man. Appreciate it. We'll see you soon, Skywest 2514. All right, and we'll go back to speed mode. Okay, we're looking good. We're climbing. We are direct alo, aloha. Delta 3005, ready to kind of passing 8,500, clear right hop tail. Climb, maintain, level 123. Clear right hop tail, climb, maintain, level 123. Hola. Flex Center, good afternoon. Sky was 2514 16000 direct. Uh, hello. Sky was 2514 Salt Lake Center. If I maintain level 340 direct Ola. 340 direct Ola. Thanks. Sky was 3414. Oh, sorry. Sky was 2514. Alright, 340 is in. So CD Center, uh, American. 1030 push, 30 push. Okay, we're looking good. Coming up on standard barrel. There we go, 18,000 feet. 
Uh, still struggling getting the approaches right, but I'm still getting good with programming the Zebo, uh, playing with the autopilot. Nice, dude. Sweet. Yep. Learning, 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 man. All right, we're direct. Hola. Everything looks good now. Cool. Climbing out 290 on the speed. Climbing nicely, 3,000 feet per minute. Wonderful. I'm actually going to turn you off. So I can get some wing views. And turn down my sounds. And bring in some music. Perfect. Hopefully we don't have too crazy of a headwind on us, but... If you check the CRJ cockpit textures in Google, you see the dark textures. Uh, it's correct, I guess. I guess what it is is it's replicating the newer CRJs. I guess they are very dark like this. I don't know. I always thought yeah, it was like a lighter gray. 46 wind calm, and we one six left, clear land. One six left, clear to land. Scott was 70, 46. Is it possible to fly the CRJ without Navigraph? Normal speed, flat maintain, level three, because I got the plane and I normal had some issues level, level uh, while zero, filling three. the route. Um, I'm not sure. It, sh it should be Drini, because it uses default X-Plane, right? It uses the default X-Plane data. Um, so yeah. At least I think it should. All right, climbing nicely. We're gonna switch our climb over when it gets to about Mach 0.75. Knowing Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, oh, then yeah, maybe, cause Sim Brief, yeah. Cause the actual simulator is, yeah. Might not be recording the right data. There you go, JJ. Fast and efficient, man. Fast and efficient, sir. So I see Center American 1020 ready for a taxi. American 1020 or 16 or Christopher 19 or taxi to Alpha. Alright, we're Mach 0.71. Well. So we're gonna switch that over to Mach hold at Mach 0.74. Resin 2514 leaving my airspace. The Seattle Center is offline. Radio service terminated. Change for for exchange for your address near 2514. What do I think of them? I think they're both oh, straight. Oh, so Delta 11 with you at flight level uh, 112, climbing 16,000. I think like if it was, so if like if you had to choose, um, I think I'm still going to give the edge flight to Microsoft Flight Sim, uh, the 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 Aerosoft version. I think just like in its current state, it offers a little bit more as far as like system depth, custom FMC, um, all that stuff. So yeah, I think bang for your buck, I'm probably going with the Microsoft version. But again, some, not everybody owns the Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Sim, right? So, all right, we're on Mach hold now. Mach 0.75 and climbing up to 34,000 feet. Climbing at a nice 2,800 feet per minute right now, which is beautiful. And we're about to hit 30,000 feet. Right, so you. Uh, does this not have a custom FMC? It does not, no. Hey Gap, do you think we will get any Black Friday deals in the X-Plane Birds? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there usually is. There usually is some sales. Yeah. There usually is, my friend. Beautiful Sky West, every man. I didn't know Sky West actually had their own liveries. It's pretty crazy. Just finished flight school. Uh, keep learning from you, Cap. Sweet, Ricardo. Very cool, man. Thanks. 
The only problem is that I never got subscriptions that I only use Steam gift cards that I don't buy online because my parents don't like that. Rip. Um, I mean, maybe you could get like one, like a prepaid Visa online instead of a Steam gift card. You could get like a prepaid, you know, they have prepaid Visas and stuff that you can, um, that you can use for online purchases. I'm not, you know, I'm not against your parents not being for that. There's plenty of reasons why somebody wouldn't like that, but, um, yeah. Um, aviation and fun, yeah, I think usually if the Flight Factor planes go on sale. Yeah. I think that'll probably be on sale. We got a nasty headwind right now. Quartering headwind. Alright. There is our... Cruise... Bring the power back you and there we go we should cruise at Mach 0.78 Mach 0.77 at 34,000 feet beautiful there we go guys looking good it says with this wind we'll be in Portland in 58 minutes and there we go Alright, time for a nice stretch. What do you guys think? Yeah. Alright. Good. Remember guys, if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. Hopefully we've reached our goal of 300 likes on today's stream. Uh, again, I, 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 I almost debated not even streaming today just because I knew that there would be so many like of our regular viewers that weren't going to be able to tune in because of the US Thanksgiving and stuff like that. But uh, I wanted to stream for everybody else. I, I realized that it's not Thanksgiving everywhere in the world, you know? So... Definitely a bug with the, uh, you can see how much that aileron's moving up here. The vertical stab stabilizer, sorry. We got the 550, 700, is the 900, 1000 worth it? I mean, what's the difference? Just the length, Journey. I think it's worth it for the price. I think it's like 20 euro or something like that, so yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get my hands on Tolo C321. I believe those will be on sale. The 319, 321 will probably, yeah. I mean, that's on Black Friday, right? Black, Black Friday, Thanksgiving. You may check now. They might even be on sale now. Working today here in Florida, enjoying the stream. Alan, thanks, man. Glad you're enjoying the day. American 1020, Jackson Hole, Wind, Calm, Runway 1-9. Did you miss the giveaway? You did, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Mr. Mopar, dude. Welcome back, my friend. That ground speed, ew. It's Matthews College Fund. I feel sorry for uh, Captain. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, apparently, in the UK, or so, there's no Thanksgiving in the UK, or something like that. How was a Canadian Thanksgiving last month? It was good. It was good. I actually had, like, my family together for the first time in, what, like, two years? So, Alexander, Alf, uh, 
Delta 951 Alpha 30 for push. Last year, I again. Delta 951 uh, is at Alpha 30 uh, for push. Delta 951, push start your stretch. On discretion, 951. Oh. Crazy weather update. We like clouds. Jerk chicken came out not too bad. Nice. Good to hear, John. Good to hear. Sounds good, Tony. Enjoy, my friend. Flake Center, Alaska 2340 with you, 16,000. Alaska 2340, Salt Lake Center. I'm in Tampa, 340. 340, 2340. Nine five whiskey golf leave my airspace. Uh, Seattle is offline. Rate of service terminated. Fix chain approved. Love you some jerk chicken. Yeah. Five whiskey golf. Zero four eight keel alpha. Leave my airspace. Oakland's offline. Rate of service terminated. Fix chain approved. Have a good Thanksgiving. Citation. Bye. Walker eleven forty one Salt Lake Center. Squawk six zero six zero. Pardon me. Drinny, take care, man. Heard PMDG is planning to make a 7-5. Yes, very interesting. Imagine a PMDG Frozen chicken breast? What do you mean? Ow! Fuck, I just jammed my knee on that. Kick off the autopilot? No, we're good, okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. That headwind is just killing us. I mean, I actually need to, like, keep that up. Contact three zero sound Cherokee, but bumpy, bumpy flight. American ten twenty radar contact past one three thousand. Climbing chain two eight zero. Climbing chain two eight zero. American ten. I wonder why PMDG is first priority because probably the easiest of all their planes to make, and it's probably like their test template, right? So you know the same way that PMDG made their. You know, the tablet that's in the DC-6, I assume that we're probably going to have that same tablet in the in the 7-3, and yeah. A lot less systems as well, right? Motor City, a lot less systems, if you think about it. DC-6 compared to a 7-3, like the system is not even close, right? Uh, they said late January, Alan. 
late January. Santa Skyhawk 99951 nine, Victor request. Oh, there we go. Skyhawk Niner Niner five one Victor solid time. Yes, here the uh, seven three is right around the corner. Yep, we're gonna get mid to late January. They said, or did they say early? Yeah, mid to late January. Hey, where'd my clouds go? Nine 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 five one Victor is about eight miles uh, north of Tooele. Requesting transition to the I eighty. Uh, Transition to we're we're going to Bountiful Sky Park. Nine 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 five one Victor Salt Lake Center Squawk six zero six six say requested altitude six zero six six and uh, seven thousand five hundred for five one. Mister Yeti, how are you, my friend? Nine 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 five one Victor, you cleared through the Salt Lake Class Bravo Bear. Clear through the Salt Lake Class Bravo airspace via the I-80 transition. Maintain VFR at 7,500. Clear through the Bravo at 7,500. Uh, 51 Victor. 51 Victor, radar contact 1-1 miles west of the Salt Lake Airport, 7,500. He got also making a triple seven for XFA server because the captain sim just doesn't cut it. Nice. Yeah. I was hoping Quality Wings would announce something, but nothing. I think PMDG would uh, release it first, though. Yes. Yeah. David, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. He kept I'm back after having a hiatus away from watching streams and streaming myself. Great to be back. Hope all is well, David. Hope your streaming went well, man. So, like, let's get 23, 40 inches. You could uh, step away from the cockpit for about uh, 10 minutes. Who is that calling me subway? Uh, let's go 2340. And last year I was calling Salt Lake, uh, step away. What was that call sending you? Uh, Alaska 2340. Alaska 2340 advised back. Skyhawk 2514, leave my airspace. Seattle's offline. Radar service terminated. Free exchange for Over to you, Calm. Thanks for your TC, man. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you soon. Uh, Skywest 2514. All right, we're on Unicom. Well, nice. They fixed some of the click regions for the doors on the Q4XP. Nice. Oh, Majestic. There's been no word from Majestic. They haven't said whether they'll do it or not. Wonder what happened to the quality wing 737. Did they plan on doing one? I didn't know that was a thing. I had no clue. I'm excited to try the new uh, battlefield. Yeti, you're home today, aren't you? We'll have to try the patch after stream. CRJ 700, nice. Next week I'm flying a CRJ 900 IRL. Nice. I flew one about a month ago, month and a half ago. Twice, twice in a week. A CRJ 900. Long planes. Was it good legroom? Not bad legroom. Seats are small. Very small airplane, man. You're uh, you're packed in there like a sardine. 
Wonder if we'll ever get the level up seven threes I, again. I mean, it's just, it's it's literally the perfect example of overhyping something to the point where people just don't give a shit about it anymore. You know what I mean? That whole project, that whole airplane, it was so overhyped. And oh my God, this is coming soon. Best, best airplane ever, freeware, this, that. And then it's just been literal like six plus months of silence, nothing. Flying from Stockholm to Manchester. Nice. That's not bad, dude. Welcome back, Clouds. Have you flown the Tolis 340? If yes, what are your thoughts on it? The Tolis 340, great airplane, a lot of fun, man. If you're looking for a big, heavy Airbus to fly, that's the one, man. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. only project 90% of the time yeah. it sucks too because like like I said like I think what it is is the problem is is people get so excited right even the developers man even the developers they they, they see you know three four five thousand people join their discord literally within a couple days right everybody gets so excited everybody's like okay yes awesome is gonna be and then it starts like well well when do you think it's gonna be ready and like, well, like how far do you want the system? And then the, the real questions start coming in, right? And then the real work, that's what I, again, I'm not taking anything away from, but like to build these aircrafts and to do these things, it requires actual work, actual talent. Um, it's not, you know, you're, you're, you know, so when you think about all these freeware projects and you think about how much time and effort people have put in, you're talking hundreds of hours, man hours to, to to develop something and it's i don't know man it, uh, like, that would be daunting man like i would e even from my perspective like that'd be you know i understand doing something because you love it and doing something because it's your uh your passion and your hobby but at the same point you know like i also feel like they need to be paid for their time if they're going to put that type of effort and um you know time with forth in it and stuff so it's crazy man it's it's crazy I find that most of the free Discord planes tank once they get the actual programming. Of course, because that's the hardest part, Astro. That is the hardest part. And that's why you have payware airplanes, because the type of coding and the type of systems and the actual programming that needs to be done on these planes to, to, to make it any type of value. What did the cop say to the criminal who got tired running from him? Stop, you need a rest. <laughs> Thank you, Kazu. Appreciate you, my friend. Dropping the five dollar donation. Thanks so much for your continued support, Kazu. I hope you're having a wonderful. What is it for you? It's got to be Sunday. Wait, Sunday, Jesus. Friday. It's Friday for you. Early morning, right, Kazu? Friday for you. Thank you for the support, my friend. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, yes, that's what makes, in my opinion, that's what, that's what makes a payware a payware is, you know, the, the, the actual programming and stuff like, you know, just for an example. Okay. I just want to give this an example. And again, 
not taking anything away from Fly By Wire, but I think we could all agree, probably the best project for Fly By, for, for Microsoft Flight Simulator is Fly By Wire and, and, and the, the um, you know, the Fly By Wire mod. And to this date, they've been at it for over a year. We still don't have like a, a, a VNAV, a descent mode. We're still we're still descending using vertical speed, using simple math and equations to altitude, to speed and relative. And, you know, just think about that. Think about how long this aircraft is and think about how talented th the development team is behind the A32NX and they still can't come up with it. They still can't figure it out. They still can't program something now whether that's the limitations of the actual simulator and not what these guys are doing, that could also be come into play here, right? So the simulator has limitations of what it's going to allow them to do in the SDK. But, um, you know, again, you, you just, so when you look at these freeware projects that are just, you know, yes, super ambitious, but like we're going to be waiting years for this type of stuff, right? So did you miss the giveaway? You did, Joey. Sorry, man. Uh, definitely Astro, yes. Daughter woke me up again. I found you were streaming, so I said let me hang out a little bit. Nice, Kazu. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Sounds like VNAV is finally coming to the A32NX soon. Well, here's the thing, JP. It's been soon TM for like the past like six months, man. They've been they've been teasing it. They've been speaking about it. They've been mentioning it. We've we've seen previews of it. But again, it, it's it's literally been like a six month waiting period, and to the point where I think like the last two or three months, it's been completely silent on the matter. You know, nobody said anything. Nobody said when it's coming. I, the last I heard was soon. You know, two three months ago. Any 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 day now was you know two three months ago. So, yeah. It's taken forever to release the A three eighty. I don't even think it's anywhere done. You know. Like I said, these things take an extreme amount of time, man. And then again, you have to add in the fact that these guys aren't getting paid, right? This is donation wear. So um, they're not getting paid for their time. So they have to find time between their, their real jobs and their real family and, you know, stuff like that. Real girlfriends, real boyfriends, whatever it may be to develop this airplane for free. And that's, you know. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, well, that's exactly why at Ursha I, I refuse to get excited about things anymore until there is like concrete evidence that it is going to be releasing soon unless i hear it from the developer you know that it is releasing soon i i just refuse to get excited and people get upset at me all the time people are like cap how come you're not how you you're not excited you don't seem like you're excited for this you know and it's like, it's not that I'm not excited. It's just, I've been in this industry for so long. I know how long these products take, you know, I'm not getting excited till I hear PMDG say, Hey, we're releasing January 21st. Or I hear rotate say we're releasing our MD 11 X whenever, you know, that's when I get excited. I think it's, you know, it's okay to get excited for something to be coming out in the near future, but I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to give my impressions on it. I have no clue. Airplane's not out, you know? Like I said, it's, 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 it's normal and it's good to look forward to something, but you have to be very reserved in this industry. You cannot, you know, overexcited just leads to overhyped. And then overhyped leads to a disappointment. And then you have people that turn their backs against developers because, you know, like how many people come in chat? I've been, I'm, I am, I am guilty of this as well, where some days, you know, you get so fed up waiting for an airplane or waiting for something to come out that you just end up, you know, like, oh, this developer, like, you know what, man, like this, these people don't know what they're doing. Like, I'm guilty of that too, man. I know a lot of people in chat too. I see people come in and they... You know, hey Cap, any news on the MD-11? We're, we're going to get it in 2050. You know what I mean? People just end up getting upset. And I think most developers are learning that now, but... Who knows? Alright. we got to plan a descent. Let's go 
go inside our airplane and take a look-see at things here, all right? What do we got going on here, my friends? All right, Jorad. Let's open up our charts. Let's see if we can compare any of this here. Uh, we're going to be PDX. We're going to open you up. We're going to be on the Hood 4 Arnav arrival. We're coming in from Jorad. We need to be at above 13,000 at 12, 270. What's a hard? We need to be at Schaefer. Do we have Schaefer? Uh, we should. We should have Schaefer at 6,700. Do I have you, sir? Schaefer. Schaefer. I don't see Schaefer. I see... Uh, on. Okay, let's compare these two. We'll take a little look-see. So we've got... Um, we've got Jorad. We've got Lund. We've got Yentl. We've got Hood. So 250 at 15,000 feet probably is what we're looking for. And then from Hood, it's going to be Bull Run. All right, from Bull Run, we're going to be to SSD. And then we're going to be SSD. I wonder if that's like Microsoft. Is Microsoft something over here in Portland? What's that? That's funny. SSD. Uh, and then it's going to be Theed to MZ. Um, and then we've got MZ to Sizzle. And then we've got Sizzle to Yorkie. And then we've got Yorkie. All right, so we're, not, we're looking good. Um, so the real restriction here, we just need to make sure. Let's aim for, uh, looking at this again, let's aim for Hood at like, I don't know, 12,000 feet, 13,000 feet. So let's aim for that. So let's go to Hood. We'll go 12,000 feet. We'll aim right in the middle of where it where it wants us, in between there. We'll descend at 1,800 feet per minute. We'll keep our eye on that. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to pull the power back here a little. And I'm going to look for like 290 knots through the descent. Okay, cool, looking good. Hey Gap, is there another leg after this? No, this is the final leg for today. Short flights, um, the last couple streams were a little bit longer because we missed a day last week, so I just was making it up for that. Um, so they were a little bit longer yesterday, or sorry, uh, on the weekend, Sunday and Monday. All right. Got you on. Cool. And let's update the weather in PDX. So we've got uh, winds are calm. I mean, shit. If the winds are calm, we tech now. Nah, whatever. We'll take the tens. It's fine. All right, Windsor Calm, we got broken at 8,000, broken at 11. Altimeter 3032. There we go. It's not bad. You do a livery with Dominican Airlines. Is Dominican Airlines a thing? I've never even heard of Dominican Airlines. I didn't know that was a thing. I've flown to the Dominican plenty of times. I love the Dominican, man. Love Punta Cana. Yeah, I'll search for it, Eric, for sure. All right, descending nicely. from the Dominican. Very cool, Eric. Very cool, man. I, uh, I was in the Dominican last probably five years ago. 
I love put together. I love your people. I love the people of Dominican as well. They're so amazing, man. I love that country, period. I love that country. One of my favorite places to go. As far as holidays and vacation. And... Hey, Cap, love the content, man. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Jackson. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. Jared, very cool. Ryan, what's up, man? From Cali. How are you, my friend? Good to see you, dude. Do you know when the next stream is? Uh, scheduled for Saturday. Saturday, my friend. All right, Hood's about 30 miles out. We're looking pretty good. We could probably descend at 2,000 feet per minute, so we'll get that back going now. What are we flying on Saturday? I think we're going to be back in Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, flying the E32NX mod. I've been uh, I've been having an itch to fly some Airbus again. Been wanting to fly some Airbus. Although I have had a lot of fun flying this yoke for the past two or three weeks. I think it's been about three weeks now. I, uh, I do miss Airbus and I, and I do want to have it. At least this week, we'll do Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, we'll, we'll do Microsoft Flight Simulator in the Airbus. And then next week, I think we're going to jump back into um, flying the Q400 for a week. Fly the Q400, do some cool Widero routes up in Norway and stuff like that. So some really fun routes, interesting routes, beautiful visuals. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what we do after that. I'm from Poland, live in CT, off departure path of 3-3 at BDL. Very cool, Parset. You're close to me, man. BDL's, BDL's close. Did you go to the um, Did you go to the first Flight Sim Expo? They had like the first Flight Sim Expo that was at BDL. It was really cool. Um, I want to set some frequencies now, friends, as well while we're here. So um, let's take a look here at our approach. We're going to plan for the ten right. Um, wait, are we doing ten right or ten left? I don't even remember what I planned. What did I plan? Ten left. Good on me. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to go to radio as well, and we're going to set this up now. So, let's come over down here, and we'll go to the ILS 10 left. Um, frequency 111.3. 111.3. All right, and our front course was 103 with a minimum of 263. 103. And 263 on the minimums today. 263. Good. Okay, and I'm just going to set that frequency back in here. Oh, it already does that. Cool. 111.3. Good. Cool. So we've got all of that set up. I'm happy with that. Nope, never been any Sim Expo. There you go. You should, man. You should, dude. The Expos are a lot of fun. Expos are a lot of fun, dude. All right. So if we keep an eye on that, we're at 20,000 feet in descending now. Um, if we open up the hood for arrival, you'll see where we are. We are right here. So we need to be at 270 knots. We're going to pull the power back now. We'll try and keep our speed restrictions. So 270 now is what we're aiming for. At Yentl, we are 
four miles from Yentl, so we'll get that configured and set up. Um, the altimeter was 3032. Set that up as well, 3032. All right, and at Yentl, we had to, I think the only restriction was above 13,000, so we're perfectly fine on that. We're at 19,000. It's good, a little bit bumpy coming in here through these clouds right now. Are you going to buy the 737 from TMDG? Yes, I will, Eric. Absolutely. Do you know any good pre-build PCs for simulators? Uh, there's a ton, Jackson. There really is a ton, man. I don't think you really need, like, a specific pre-built for simulators. Any, any new modern gaming PC will handle at least Microsoft Flight Simulator pretty well. Um, yeah. X-Plane as well. I mean, X-Plane has come a long way, to be honest with you. 3032 on the altimeter. We'll set that now. 3032 is set. Next Thursday, December 2nd. That's crazy to think that next Thursday it's December 2nd already. Seattle ARTCC is going to be lit. Most airports. Um, Thursday, December from 7 to 9. From 7 to 9, though, Eastern Time or Pacific. So 7 to 9 Pacific Time. So that's, that's 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. for me. Uh, Alex, I don't know. Usually I don't stream that late. I don't know if maybe next Thursday we can make an exception, but next Thursday I'm actually going to be in Europe if our, we're on our schedule. So unfortunately that's just not going to add up with our with our times, unfortunately, Alex. Um, I'll be there in spirit. <laughs> unfortunately, I don't think I'll be there in, uh, in person or virtually flying. Okay, we're looking good. We are six miles out from Hood. We need to be between... What do we need to be between? We need to be between 15 and 9,000. So we are at 15,500 right now. So we're looking perfect as far as descent ratio. We're looking real good. Um, the next big thing... I'm just going to bring the speed down. Just got to watch that. The next big thing that we uh, need to look out for is we're going to be at, um, I guess, SSD for between 9 and 11. So we'll aim for 10,000 at uh, SSD. So we'll put in 10,000. And now that we've done that, I'm just going to shallow that out here a little bit. We'll go to like 1,600 feet per minute. That'll be good. SSD's about 25 miles. 25 miles-ish. Hey, Portland Approach is online. Nice. Um, Portland Approach, 12435. 12435. We'll let this song wrap up, and then we'll go ahead and tune to him. What's up, Cap? Just smashed the 714 down in DFW. Made lots of virtual passengers. Unhappy? How's your day going? <laughs> Better than you, apparently. We had some greasy butter today, man. Landing in uh, in Boise had a really cool RNAV visual approach. It was really fun. If you want, rewatch it real quick here before we get this approach done. Um, all right, we've got Portland Approach online. Let me give them a ring here. Uh, I'm just going to confirm that I've got this. I'm just going to grab the ATIS real quick. We've got information alpha, and they're using the tens. Good. All right, cool. Port Approach, good afternoon, Skywest 2514 with information Alpha, 12500 descending on the hood 4. Skywest 2514, Portland Approach, ident please. Send them a flash. Skywest 2514, uh, radar contact five miles west of Hood. Continue descending via the Hood 4. Expect the RNAV Zulu 10 left approach. All right, we'll continue the descent on the Hood 4, and we will expect the RNAV Zulu 10 left, uh, one zero left approach. Skywest 2514. Okay, so. Portland Approach, Alaska 2340, 12.7 so we'll for 12,000 on the Hood 4 um, with Alpha. 
So he's actually going to give us the Arnav. I just got 2340. Zulu, 10 left from Buxom. And we'll execute that. Don't think much is going to change. No, it's just an Arnav. Okay. I done for Alaska 2340. And just to confirm, we'll open up our charts and we'll take a look at that. So, Arnav Zulu approach uh, from Sizzle. So, it's going to be. Alaska 2340, you appear, you appear to be a little outside my radar range. So give me a call back in about. Yeah, uh, I guess actually we want it from Sizzle. So, let's try that okay, again. So, we'll go here, we'll go here. Attention all aircraft information, Bravo now current at Portland. Wind variable we'll at 3, altimeter 3, Arnav 10 zero left Zulu from Sizzle. And we'll execute that. And then you can see, yeah, okay, there we go. And then from there, it's an actual Arnav in, so he doesn't need to vector us. That's why he's he's got us in like that, okay. Uh, airplane, I have absolutely no clue what you're doing. You need to go to SSD, Rise please. 2514, runway 10 left, clear to land. Clear land 10 left, horizon air 2514. Skywest 2514, you appear to be off of the hood for, uh, do you need vectors? Nope, airplane just decided to be extra special when we programmed that RNAV in. We're direct SSD now, should be no issue. Skywest 2514. Roger. Okay, there we go. So for whatever reason, Alaska 2340 ident. Whatever reason, it decided to uh, 2340. not do that. Anyways, our speed's good. We're uh, holding at 10,000 feet. He's given us clearance to descend. Keep on descending. So we need to be at 5,000 for sizzle. Um, so, if I had to do a little bit of guessing, Sizzle is uh, still quite a bit away, so we're still going to hold 250 40, here. I'm still not receiving your IDEF. Do you need to control the, the, uh, the You do line. need to control the throttle. Yeah, there's no, there's no yeah, auto from, throttle well, here. 40, we'll try that no auto throttle. Um, all right, altitude. So we're going to go 5,000 for Sizzle. Alaska 2340. There it is. Uh, radar contact seven I'm miles descend from us at hood. Well. Continue descending via the hood four and expect the Arnav Zulu one zero left approach. Right, we'll descend by the hood four. Okay. And we'll so between Zulu eleven and nine for SSD, 2040. so we're actually perfectly on track right now. We don't want to go any lower. We want to keep that like that. So uh, then it's going to be five thousand at two hundred and ten knots for sizzle, and then we make a turn in and we do an Arnav arrival. So we're doing fine on that. We'll just watch the altitude and the sorry the speed, not the altitude. Altitude's fine for now. Um, after SSD, we'll step down to nine thousand feet for Theed, and then I believe it's going to be seven thousand for MZ. Uh, yeah, seven thousand for MZ. So nine thousand for Theed, seven thousand for MZ, five thousand for Sizzle, and we're good. 250 knots is in. We're at 10,000. We're like, well, Alaska, right on the border. 11, 13, 10,000. So we'll get the landing lights on. We'll get the logo right lights on. 4,000, 010 for Alaska 11, 13. Right. Good. Our nav approaches are cool. They're, uh, they definitely help the ATC as far as um, workload and stuff. Because if you can just send a bunch of aircraft Alaska down on 13, like a... 3, if you send a 7, bunch 18, of 3, aircraft 000. down on like a, an RNAV, it's just, yeah. Makes way more sense. All right, 9,000 feet for Theed. Alaska 1113, uh, Portland Airport, uh, one zero miles, your three o'clock report field in sight. Roger, at the field in sight for Alaska 1113. Okay. 500 feet per minute is good. Are cleared visual approach, one zero right. Clear for the visual one zero right, Alaska 1115. I have no clue, Chase. Five twenty five fourteen. Sorry, man. Welcome to Portland. Turn right, Lynn Able, and taxi to parking via Alpha. Right turn, Able, ramp via Alpha, Resonator 2514. Thanks, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. 
The flight director looks different from the Microsoft Flight Simulator one. You can Star choose the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Cross one. sizzle at five thousand. At sizzle cleared RNAV Zulu one zero left approach. Ready sizzle for five thousand at sizzle cleared RNAV Zulu one zero left approach. Skywest twenty five fourteen. Okay, sounds are coming back. Well, an approach Delta 11 with you at uh, 1 3000. Delta 11, uh, Portland approach, I did. I did, Delta 11. Delta 1 1 radar contact one mile west of Hood. Continue descending via the Hood for arrival. Expect RNAV Zulu 10 lift approach. Right, descending via uh, Hood arrival, expect RNAV Zulu 10 lift approach for Delta 1 1. Cloudy day in Portland. Alaska, 11, 13, one Surprised he's three. not just handed out ILSs with how cloudy one it is. Vatsim without the radio filter sounds weird. Um, so I have to do it because I use an audio mixer. Anytime you use an audio mixer with Batsim, it just sends the completely out to lunch. Like, completely. So, yeah. Um, are we already at Sizzle? Oh, shit. That's my bad. We're way high. I thought we were not at Sizzle yet. Okay, we've still got time to burn it off because we've got to come in like this. So we're well, okay. Approach, we got Delta 2523 right off the nose here for Delta 11. Delta 11, I'm trying to get a hold of him. He's a text pilot. I'm going to be turning him out of your way. Roger that, Delta 11. Okay, um, if we continue to look here, we need to be at. It's kind of odd. We just need to be at 2,000 for Powell's, so we're actually not even that high. We'll just put 2,000 in here. We missed the restriction. That's about it. But um, we should be fine with the rest of this. 1,800 feet per minute. Looking good. We're going to daze. Then we're going to make the left turn. Just need to make sure we're a blazer uh, for 2,000 feet, and then we'll go visual from there. So let's go flaps one. Sorry, that's going to be our slats, which will help. Alaska 2340, I see you diverging from the hood arrival. Do you need vectors? Uh, negative. The airplane just uh, being a little awkward in the head here. Uh, we'll get back up to uh, yeah, the arrival Schmitty here. Clearly missed my first landing. Roger, Alaska 2340, cross sizzle at 5,000. At sizzle, cleared uh, RNAV Zulu 10 left. So the 5,000, then we'll uh, clear for the RNF for 10 left to loop for Alaska 2340. Might be right on the bar. Yeah, be careful, but we're good. 230 knots, we're good. Um, our landing speeds today, about 130 knots. All is swelling well, looking good. Making these turns nicely. Right on track. I want to keep about 190 knots in. Um, what does this put us on? Does this put us on a how short of a final, though? This puts us on a six mile. It does, you can see Alaska the aircraft flying it pretty well. 
taxi to parking via Bravo 4 and Tango. 2500. Bravo 4 Tango to parking lots, 1114. Let's go gear down. Keep bringing that speed. We'll aim for about 170. There's 2,000 feet on the rollout. We're looking perfect. Great on it. And there's the airfield in front of me looking good. I'm going to turn on my track IR system and I will throw over to joystick cam and you guys will enjoy the arrival. It's going to be my airplane. There we go. Cool. Speed's coming back nicely. SkyWest 2514, runway 10 left, clear to land. 10 left, clear to land, SkyWest 2514. All right, we are a little bit low on the slope. Bring our nose up. There we go. Three white, sorry, three red, one white now. Flaps 30 degrees. Get some down trim for sure with that guy. Been cleared to land, so we'll get our wing lights on. We'll get our taxi light on here as well. And final approach speed, we're looking for about 130 knots. Bring this down here. Good. And we'll get final approach speed. We're on about a four mile final now. 1300 feet. And let's go. Flaps full, 160 knots. Two white, two red, 1,000 is being called out. We are perfect. Looking great here, friends. Speed is great. Bring it back just a tad. Giveaway is done, guys. Sorry. Got nose up. The aircraft flies really nice, actually. Like, I don't know if it's the yoke or the aircraft, but... Delta 11. Flies real nice. Cross sizzle at 5,000. At sizzle cleared. RNAV Zulu 10 left approach. All right, landing checklist gears sizzle down. Three green flaps full. Cleared, RNAV Zulu Reversers left armed. Left. Lights are on. Cabins advised. You guys are advised. Let's butter this out. Let's go for a double butter right, today, man. friends. We like double butters. Reversers, nose down gently. On the brakes, reversers are deployed. That might have been our best one yet. 60 knots, reversers stowed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Portland. Oof, my goodness me. That felt spectacular. Wow. I was 2014, 2514, welcome to Portland. Turn right when able. Taxi to parking via Alpha Tango. Right when able, parking via Alpha and Tango. Thanks for wonderful ATC and happy Thanksgiving. Appreciate you jumping on for uh, all of us today. No problem. We saw you coming in and we thought we'd give you a hint. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thanks so much. See ya. <clears throat> Alrighty, Alpha Tango to the ramp. Oh my goodness. Where's Schmitty? Hey, uh, Schmitty, that one was for you. <laughs> All right, we're looking good, friends. Let's clean up our flaps. 
Everything is ready to go. Flap spoilers were looking good. <laughs> this goes for about six. Ah, Schmitty, don't. If you master start switches come. <laughs> oh man, that was. I don't listen, man. Out of all the approaches we've done in a real long time, that one seemed to just. Like fit perfectly. It was. It's perfect, man. It was literally perfect. That's the landing we strive for every time. B squad, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, dude. How are you, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great day of flying today. A lot of fun flying this airplane, man. Like I said, this airplane is a lot of fun. It truly is a lot of fun to fly. Um, if you're on the fence about it, I mean, I, I think that's understandable. But at the same point, I mean, don't let a don't let a cost, don't let a default FMC keep you away from from enjoying an airplane. Do you know what I mean? Um, like I said, I'm not I'm not here to tell you how and what you, how you should spend your money and what you should spend your money on. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this thing this thing is is, is quite a lot of fun to fly, man. When I was a kid, buttering meant something very different. <laughs> all right, and let's pull up the APU. We're going all the way around the airport today. This community wants nothing over 75 feet per minute, so parameters have been met. <laughs> How dare, how dare the next left is going to be Tango, friends. We've got the arrivals coming in here. Damn, looks good. Is the yoke good with Sarecraft? Because it, it doesn't seem like it's moving correctly in the sim. Um, it is. It's just very small travel in the sim. Like, the yoke is, it's very, especially when you're on the ground. Yeah. No, it's, it feels amazing. It feels very nice. All right, here's Tango. What's the longest flight we've done? Um, I'm not sure. I think it was maybe Amsterdam to St. Martin at almost 10 and a half hours, I think that one was. You would say that yoke is overpriced. Um, no, I wouldn't say so at all. Nope. Not at all. And that's coming from somebody that's owned four yokes in his life. I would say that this is priced exactly where it should be. This is hands down as far as commercial grade, like commercial design aircraft. There, there's nothing like this on the market. So at $399, I personally think that's an absolute steal. Less than $500, you're getting the exact motion and replica of a, of a, seven, of a 787 and a Boeing, Boeing yoke. I don't think it's overpriced at all. But hey, you know what, man? Here's the beauty of it. You are completely, um, you are completely able to have your own opinion. And that's the beauty, right? That, that is the beauty of, of products and product design and, and, is you get to be the person. And that's why as a consumer, for us, everybody in the in the aviation industry or the flight sim industry, it's 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 all good, man. It's all good. I don't understand why people are hating on products. Like, it's good that we have this yoke. It's good that, that we have a honeycomb yoke. It's good that we have a turtle beach yoke. It's good that we have a Logitech SciTech yoke. These are all good things um, because not every yoke is going to be designed for every person's type of flying, right? I hope that makes sense. I fly mainly commercial airlines. And if you look exactly how this yoke is, is made, how it has that center pivot point, this is exactly Last what is being replicated in my simulator right now. And this is exactly what's being replicated in my hands with that yoke, is that pendular motion. If you look at every single airline, they're flown with a pendular motion, which is exactly that. It feels like that. Um, so, again, it completely, if you're somebody that flies general aviation, then yeah, 
this yoke is probably not for you if you're somebody that flies general aviation because if you look at general aviation almost every single gen general aviation aircraft the actual yoke comes out from a center pivot point just like the honeycomb just like the turtle Delta beach just like the sci-tech logitech that's it so for 300 dollars or 399 sorry i think it's perf priced perfectly perfectly priced um, I actually, I actually think they could have priced it higher if they really wanted to. I think three ninety nine, like I said, under five hundred dollars, gives you Delta the 11, real Delta motion 11, of a seven of a, of a Boeing aircraft. Ones are left, have to remember, this one. is completely designed off the real. So the amount of pull and lefts and right that is designed exactly off a real aircraft. So I mean, don't tell me it doesn't get any more realistic than that. So, I think it, 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 it completely has to do with what type of flying you enjoy doing, but um, yeah. Hey, look at that, we even have the uh, scenery guy. I mean, it's $500 for me too, Captain Nate. So, yeah. That's, that's the prices, man. I, I'm not saying it's a cheap price, by all means. But I'm saying for that price, the fact that we get to mimic the realistic motion that we that we see in our simulators and do, I think it's worth it to me. Again, my opinion, right? I get to have one, you get to have one. That's 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 the beauty of this. Alright, cool. Let's come down here. Park brake is going on. Let's go to the overhead. APU is on and available. APU generator is on. Engine gens are off. Engine number one, engine number two, off position, red beacon light is off, seatbelt signs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Portland International Airport. Absolutely beautiful. What a great, great day of flying. I am uh, I'm impressed, man. I had so much fun. Like I said, Delta one, one. if, if system Portland, depth right, isn't your top priority, I think 100% you will have fun flying this aircraft. Um, I really, 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 truly hope um, the developer and the team can can get some system depth down, which I'm positive they will because I know that that's what takes time. And now that they actually have the aircraft out, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping for big things with this as far as the system wives goes. But man, oh man, oh man, is it so much fun to fly. The flight model does not need to be touched. I think it's absolutely perfect. It flies like a true dream the pitch trim off departure may be a little bit um maybe a little bit too much for my liking but that's something that we can just figure out as far as the control wise and stuff but man oh man oh man what a fun fun airplane man fun airplane all right let's take a look at our replay what a beautiful arrival in to uh an, an arnav arrival again two arnav arrivals today I was not prepared for that I like I like that we were able to do that. So is it better than the other CRJ? Um, what well, it depends. Like I said, it it really depends, man, because it depends what you're looking for. Like if you're somebody that's like you want the best bang for your buck as far as what you get, then no. I I, I being a hundred percent real and honest with you, I got to give that to the Aerosoft CRJ for Microsoft Flight Simulator. That thing is just packed, packed with 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 content and 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 custom systems and custom this and custom that um yeah like as far as bang for your buck but is this like a great alternative to somebody that doesn't own or want to own microsoft flight simulator absolutely this is yes absolutely and maybe this will eventually become better than 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 the aerosoft i don't know but as of today right now i mean the best bang for your buck is obviously going to be microsoft flight simulator as far as scenery clouds weather all that the best bang for your buck right now is Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's not, that's not really throwing any shade on the airplane or anything. That's just that's just truthful speaking, right? What a greasy landing! Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful day of flying. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. If I'm from Salt Lake to check out the brand new Vertical Sim Boise. I'm going to take this time now to thank all my mods, donators, and sponsors. Without you guys here, none of this would be possible. So seriously, thank you all so, so, so much for all of your contributions today. Huge shout out goes out to uh, Mr. Midnight Maverick and Mr. Mopar Dude coming in with those fat 
donations. Thank you guys very, very much for the support today. I truly do appreciate you battling it out for top spot. So thank you all so, so, so much. You guys are absolutely awesome. Appreciate every single one of you. You guys know the plan for the weekend. I've kind of let it go what we're going to be doing on Saturday. We're going to be jump back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're going to be in the uh, E3 2NX mod and probably checking out some Charlotte scenery. Somebody told me that some Charlotte scenery dropped. So um, I would love a good Charlotte scenery, to be honest with you. I think it would be absolutely awesome. So um, definitely we'll take a look at that one. Guys, thanks for coming to hang out. Truly do appreciate it to everybody else that can't afford to donate using a monetary value. I still want to thank you guys just as much. I, I understand during these crazy times, you know, extra money can be tight and it may not be important to donate to a live streamer and I'm completely okay with that. So thank you all for just coming to hang out, liking the videos, sharing the videos, just coming to hang out, keeping chat busy with me. Look forward to seeing you guys all on Saturday in Microsoft Flight Sim. Should be a lot of fun. Native replays. Take a look at Sim Update 7 a little bit further. Guys, have yourselves a wonderful rest of the week. Again, happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends. Enjoy your holiday. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the turkey. Enjoy everything that the holidays are all about. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Have a great rest of the week. I'll see you guys all on Saturday. Happy landings, friends. Peace.